Hello, hello, everybody. It has... Honestly, it's kind of funny, because Pokemon Legends Arceus did indeed come out today, but Amazon, yesterday, or however many days ago, said, Oh yeah, it's gonna come on, come in on sun, uh, Saturday. So it's gonna technically, so it should have gotten here tomorrow. Because I still get physical games when I can, because of uh, brain. And yeah, it's just, for whatever reason, despite being slated to come tomorrow, it got here today. A day early, aka the day it's supposed to come out. I just found that funny. But, now let's head in, because I've been on my Pokemania, Pokemania, Pokemarathon fever for a while now, since December of last year. <laughs> so basically, like a month ago, I beat Pokemon Yellow and Pokemon Crystal not that long ago. And I just decided, you know what? I'm on the Pokemon. Let's play Pokemon. So let's get on with it. Pokemon Legends Arceus. And yeah, I started it up a bit early because I never know when one of these games is going to be like, yeah, we downloaded the, an update, but something has to be downloaded or activated when you actually load up the game. You know, kind of like Poke like a Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Whenever you see now saving on the screen, your progress is being automatically saved. You can disable autosave in the settings. I'm not sure what I would want, why I would want to get rid of that, but... Who knows? Okay, magical light. Welcome to my realm, located beyond both time and space. It is well that thou art here. I am that which humans call Arceus. Hello, purple fire kitty. I'm starting Legends Arceus. And already I'm interested because for some reason that just the glowy light hit me and my initial thought was, huh, is that the good god from black and white? Not the Pokemon black and white, the Lionhead Studios black and white. It was a RTS and you played a god. It was a hand. It was, it was kind of fun and weird. Made by Peter Molyneux, so that's kind of a knock against it. But anyway, this is apparently Arceus. Now I wish to know thine appearance. Oh yeah, I forgot that. The latest Pokemon games do this. Hmm. I guess I shall be Gaul. What is thy name? Same as it always is. In one world, I guess I get tugged into the Pokemon world as an EV in this world. I just... Arceus is just like, get over here. Oh no, Arceus is Scorpion. True fear. That be me, I guess. Neon. Soon thou shalt find thyself in a world strange to thee. So even this one's an isekai? <laughs> Tugged into the di distant past of Pokemon world. A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that humans call Pokemon. Neon. Seek out all Pokemon, and thou shalt find me once more. I don't know what his deal is. <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I'm gonna take you to the Pokemon world. Go seek out all the Pokemon and then find me again. It's the wackiest game of, uh, <laughs> it's the wackiest game of, what, is, and now I'm falling through the void. But I guess it's the wackiest game of hide-and-seek. A phone! My phone! I need my phone! However, however will I live without technology? I wish you could, uh... Uh... I did independently change the hair and skin tone. Yeah, that would be nice. Just extra... Oh, it's Arceus! In the, uh, glowy light. <laughs> He's giving me back my phone! That time, God just gave me back my phone. Hey, bro, you lost this. But yeah, it is kind of a little bit silly that it's just like, here, select one of these pre-rendered versions and not just skin tone and hair, but eh, what you gonna do? Pokemon's kind of weird like that. Pokemon Legends Arceus. 
Ooh, look at that little Lodi icon! I like it, it's nice and colorful. For some reason, it, I imagine it would taste like a sweet. Wake up! Oh, do wake up, won't you? Who was it, the Pokemon talking to me? Are you alive, my girl? Oh, I guess I kind of got the right voice for this guy. He looks weird. I forgot he had that stupid bonnet hat. And despite for being in the distant past, he is quite fashionably modern. Is that a snowflake in front of a storm? I'm liking the look of this so far. You gave me quite the shock falling from the sky like that. This is a decent guy. <laughs> but thank goodness you seem unharmed. Huh, who are you? I'd like to ask you the same. I mean, you fell out of the sky, you understand? Come now, who in the world does that? A protagonist? I must say your clothing is unusual. You wouldn't happen to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? <laughs> I doubt it. <laughs> I doubt it, my dude. I just got here. I see. You seem to be in a bit of a pickle. You seem to be in a very odd hat. And again, why are you looking? You say he's like, oh, your clothing is odd. You look pretty modern, man. Did you fall from the sky too? Might I offer some directions? Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? No, <laughs> nowhere. <laughs> I fell from the sky. You think I can go back to the sky, my man? So you don't know anyone here and you don't even know where to spend the night. Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you're able to survive? Somehow, I guess, my man. I get irritated by it because I have brown hair a lot and light skin, and most of the time, the dark skin model have uh, my hair. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, is he Team Galactic? That's from what I saw, is that the distant past of Sinnoh, and I forget what this one is, this current past version is called, but apparently Team Galactic is the good guys for now, or maybe that might be a twist, who knows. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Crow! Foom. Plish plash. Oh my, I'd completely forgotten. I just caught up these three runaway Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. Ah, uh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Of, uh, of course I do. They're Pokemon. Monsters in my pocket. Why, that's a relief. Though you fell from the sky, it seems you have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures they are. Oh yes, and what might your name be? I am Neon. I am the Sky Guardian. Guardian of the Scan. I just noticed his emblem on his coat. Yep. I wonder if maybe Team Galactic shenanigans... Hey, maybe Team Galactic created a new universe and this is the new universe. <laughs> Ah, so you're called Neon. That name has quite the ring to it. I imagine it must have some lovely meaning. Cue all the people naming their characters like Blorbo and Tiddlywinks. <laughs> oh, but I do apologize. I haven't even introduced myself. My name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen our understanding of Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon such as these three here... He's not even trying to run after them. Oh, blasted bother! My darling Pokemon! Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry, but do you think you could help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you three! Wait! Alright. We can uh, sneak down. And uh, nothing else. There's a thing here. Is it my phone? Is it my phone? It's a... It's... <laughs> now I just have the idea of Arceus as the Rotom Dex. I love these models. The Pokemon look so cute. They do. There's a glowing beeping object over there. I think it is Arceus as a Rotom Dex. It's... <laughs> That's the reward. Beat this game, capture all the Pokemon, and Arceus will be your Rotom Dex in the new Pokemon game. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. 
It's the Pope phone, because God gave it to me. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon thee this Ark phone, and thy mission, seek out all Pokemon. Well, we'll start with these three. Yeah, so far I'm liking the look of things. People might criticize it, but I like it. And that sounds like a classic Pokemon cry. I love it. The Pokemon look... Okay, I'm gonna make that now. It would be an interesting phone. Oh, alas, another miss. Aha, I'm glad you've come to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by tossing some Pokeballs their way. But I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, this one is Rowlet. Rowlet can photosynthesize like a plant, and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. It looks so adorable. <laughs> that one over there is a Cyndaquil. The fire burning on its Cyndaquil's back will flare up whenever it's surprised or irate. And it actually has fire! It has fire! Because I think that's one thing that some of the later Pokemon games kind of fail on is... None of the Cyndaquil line actually flare their fire. <laughs> oh, look at the water. I like the water. The Pokemon near the pond is Oshawott. Oshawott naps while floating on the water, and it can battle using the shell-like object on its belly. Oh, look, it's so happy. And then it's kind of sad. Oh my, I nearly forgot to cover the most crucial thing. How about how to go about catching Pokemon? Here you are, my girl. Pokeballs. Throw these at the Pokemon to catch them. Fifty of them. How can I carry all these Pokeballs? Pokeball, a mysterious ball that can throw. Pokeball, a mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if you gather the necessary materials. Suck it, Kurt! I can make my own! No more waiting a day for you! Ah, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent invention, you see. Throw one at them, one of them at a Pokemon, and... Why, the Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside the ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, the proper technique is to take aim at the Pokemon, let the ball fly. It's quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose, given my own dire lack of skill in this area. Throwing Pokeballs. Pokemon can be caught by throwing Pokeballs at them. Hold down the ZR button to ready a Pokeball and take aim. You can keep throwing around as you do, moving around as you do. So use the right stick to adjust your angle and aim carefully at your target Pokemon. Release the ZR button to throw a Pokeball. If it hits a Pokemon, you may be able to catch it. If you've readied a Pokeball but do not want to throw it, press the B button to cancel the throw. Now we go. Who shall I catch first? Ooh. Okay, we've startled it by accident. Kind of cool. Go, Pokeball! Neat. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! It seems you've quite the knack for this Pokemon catching business, Neon. Jolly useful skill to have around here. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. I'm the protagonist. They won't kill me. Now, the real question is, which Pokemon do I want as my starter, if we even get these as starters? I'm probably Cyndaquil or Rowlet. I like the idea of Rowlet. I like how there's a little firework when you catch one. 
Huh. So you get all of them. Doubtful. I think you're just catching them for him and then he'll be like, Thank you. I know. These three are such a handful. Maybe you can keep one. Lighten the load and has a, th a thing of thanks. I can hardly believe it, Neon. Incredible. You know many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap this up sharpish, shall we? I love this. I love the feel of it. Sure, some flower popping, but I can move that. Go, Pokeball! Oh! I'm a failure. Ah, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give it another go, old girl. How dare you? I am quite young. Go, Pokeball! But how dare they give me a fail tutorial? I know they can fail. <laughs> I love my water baby all the way. <laughs> it could be that I haven't played the game that Oshwad is from. I'm, g I'm gonna get to it eventually, playing through all the Pokemon games. Thank you so very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you just caught have only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I And as I mentioned, they bolted from the village, almost as if they knew you'd come falling. But I must say, Neon, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so ably when you've only just arrived here? Fool! I am a Pokemon champion! And when it comes to video games and alternate universes, probably not related to this one. One can't help but think there's a reason you appeared here and now. I got a, I got a god phone. Seek out all Pokemon. The object is an arc phone, you say? What an odd device. Could it be guiding you somewhere? I don't know. Strange hat man who I only just met. If you'll indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalog a Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex is a wonderful work of research containing detailed records of all the Pokemon to be found in a region. But in order to properly document Pokemon, one must, of course, catch them. And there it lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented, and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Into you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon, and mine is to have all these Pokemon caught. A situation ripe for teamwork, don't you agree? Come now, what do you say? Shall we help one another out, my girl? You've convinced me, man! He's in the same gin, uh, Rowlet and Cyndaquil. Huh. The Pokemon Center is supposedly making an arc phone case. Huh. Cool. I wonder how, like, difficult it will be to fit in your pocket if it is actually designed like that. <laughs> then whoever y and, uh, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We have a Pokedex to complete. First things first. Let's get these Pokemon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and a meal and all that. I find it hilarious that every everything comes first before meal. <laughs> Follow me then, onward to Jubilee Village. Do I see a legendary Pokemon upon the horizon? No, I see the... W I, I swear... Since this is tied to Team Galactic, there has to be some shenanigans going on. Especially because Arceus is here. Arceus, Team Galactic. What is going on? Hello, I'm a stranger. I fell from the sky. I'm the new research assistant. Thank you for your tireless work keeping us safe, my good guardsmen. This young lady was of great assistance to me and my Pokemon, so I hope you'll forgive my bringing her into the village for a bit. I say nothing. I'm just a guard. I nod. That's it. That's the extent of my interaction with human beings. Kind of modern, kind of not. <laughs> that basically describes this entire place. Kind of modern, but kind of not. This way, if you please. Jubilee Village, it's come a long way, thanks to the fine people of the galaxy, diddly. Oh, no, people are talking. This road we're on now is known as Locos of Canela Avenue. 
The village was built scarcely two years ago. There's much to do yet and not many to do it. What manner of dress is that? And since we know so little of the local Pokemon, people hesitate to set foot outside the village. Does the professor know that child? Uh, now the impressive building of the head is... You talk too fast, my old man! Maybe I should have, shouldn't have walked so fast. Oh, botheration! I'd almost forgotten! I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask you to wait for me at the canteen? It's past the building right there, then to the left. The Wallflower, it's called. I feel like I'm going to get mugged. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show where you need to go next. Use the button to view the... Oh, use the minus button. I thought it was a dash. <laughs> button to view the map on your arc phone. You can consult the map for guidance to your next destination and information on your missions and requests. You'll also see guidance markers when you're out exploring or running around the village. If you're not sure where to go next, stop and look around in all directions to try and spot one of those markers. Then head for it. Thank you, God. <laughs> God, take the wheel. In an unfamiliar land, head to the Wallflower. Uh, hello, Blamey. I'm pretty new to the village myself. I try to talk to everyone I meet, so I always learn something new. He's new, and people are like, you're weird. Ah, investigate. Kanala Bridge. This region is huge, and there's lots of dangerous Pokemon, too. But you came here anyway. How come? Uh, God Taxi. Back in my hometown, I've got an older brother who's going to inherit the family's farm and all. But I'm going to make my own way here in Hisui. 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 Mm, can we zoom? We can zoom in. Farm. Pastures. Neat. And what's this called? Galaxy Hall. So yeah, I wonder what everything will be about when it comes to Team Galactic and its shenanigans. And then... Ooh. Current location. You can just save your progress whenever? Woo! Nice. That's always nice to know. Survey tips and game controls and settings. I want to look at settings. Tech speed fast, vertical, sure, sure, autosave, yes, HUD toggling, CR button confirmation, DDD, dynamic range. Adjust the ratio. I guess narrow. Oh no, there's the dodge button. <laughs> We are going to be in grand danger. Hello, old person. You look old from your stature. Why you frown at me? How dare you? Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? I'm a child. The wallflowers for galaxy team folk only. We don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. I am alone in my world. Profound sadness. Who in the world are you? What's that bizarre garb you're wearing? A Pokemon could slice right through those flimsy excuses for clothes. Um, for you to get in here, someone must have vouched for you. Was it Professor Laventon? Do you two know each other? He's from a region a long way off. So I've been vouched for by the person that the townsfolk probably don't trust. Oh no. Not the most reliable sort, though. Letting Pokemon run off and give him the slip and all. Three more of them got away just a while ago, and I got them back. If I hadn't been resting up some after, uh, after some Pokemon drubbed me with a move called Thundershock, I'd have corralled them for sure. But the professor, well... Unfortunately, it's just as Ray says. I'm a clumsy sort of fellow, to put it mildly. Ah! <laughs> but everything will be quite all right now. Neon here has agreed to help us with our Pokédex. I love the expressions! There's actually expressions here! I love the expressions! As in, she's gonna join the Survey Corps? What makes you think that's a good idea? We can't just take any misfits who wander out of the wilderness. I'll allow it. Gah! Now there's a forehead you recognize. Assuming the individual can contribute to the Survey Corps, that is. I am the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene. Is it Silene or Silene? I do not know. 
see new names and do not know how to understand you. Professor Laventon has told me how you helped secure his Pokemon when they slipped his control. And now it seems he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labor. Hmm, you look to be 15 or so. It's hard to tell with these anime games. I admire your ability to guess. Quite old enough to work for your keep. But we can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in among us without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite all right. I prefer to eat alone so I might appreciate my meals without distraction. Aloof as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share a meal and some pleasant conversation then, eh? Vinny or chum, the usual potato mochi, if you please, but make it for three today. Wonderful stuff, Vinny. Much obliged. Your potato mochi never failed to please. Where do you find this stranger in the first place, Professor? Ah, well, you know of that great hole in the sky, the one people call the space-time rift. Our new friend fell right out of it. You said that I fell from the sky. I didn't even know I fell from that. Was that a joke? Come now, I am a scientist. My job is to observe and explain any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know there are many Pokemon here in the Hisui region. Sure, they're all over the place. In the grass, in the forests, in the ocean. It's up to us in the Survey Corps to study them and figure out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers they might possess, or what sort of wondrous things they can do. I love the expressions. But that's where Neon will come in. She successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand. Nobody in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. This means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. That's really something. We count ourselves lucky when we manage to catch a single wild Pokemon while fending off their attacks. Ah, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack. But the key to catching Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough to do just that. Does the Survey Corps really have the leeway to be enjoying a leisurely meal with this outsider? Your captain just ordered ten whole portions of potato mochi, you know. The slow progress of the Pokedex of yours clearly has her on edge. I'm sure we'll start to rein in the good captain's stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, Neon, and think. If you make it into the Galaxy Team, you'll never have to worry about a meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said team members fell out of the sky. I'm liking this so far. The setup is really interesting. That was quite delicious. Quite delicious indeed. You're awfully relaxed about all this. You do know that we won't get to have Neon join the Survey Corps unless she passes a trial. Not to worry. I have complete confidence in Neon's skills. Let's hope it is not misplaced. Neon, was it? For tonight, at least, we'll provide you with a place for sleep. You may use our quarters there. But if you fail to pass the trial we put tomorrow, you must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate, and perhaps your death in the wilds. I'm already loving this game! And it kind of does feel isekai-like. Well, I mean, obviously, fell from the freaking portal in the sky. Captain Celine's like Hisui, in a way. They're both plenty harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on a stern front to help us keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time we turned in for the night, eh? It's a good thing that one can't fall out of futons we sleep in here. I imagine our new friend has had enough falling for one day. And with that, I bid you both a good night. Yeah, sleep tight. Still... 
people falling from the sky? That's some kind of story. I can't wait. Like, even at this point, I am already getting, like, hit. And, like, I'm interested. Even if the gameplay loop is just sneaking up on Pokemon and capturing them, I think I might love that now. Now, who might you be? I haven't seen you here in the village before. The captain of the Civic Corps, Silin. Silin, 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 Silin. I wonder if anything actually scares her. God, maybe? A new hairstyle means a fresh outlook, and a fresh outlook that you change your fortune. Ah, so you can actually change your look in this place. Neat. For later. I've never seen clothes quite like yours, hun. Where might you be from? Apparently the sky. I'm from Skyloft! <laughs> That's a big-ass chest. Not as Spartan as I thought it would be. Sleep until morning in the futon in your quarters. This chest looks like you could store lots and lots of items in it. A nice fire in the sunken hearth can help keep the entire room heated. A, it's a jug used to store drinking water. It has a lid on top to keep debris from falling in. All right. Oh, for a moment I thought it was like, why is it taking so long? Checking survey tips. Survey tips contain all sorts of useful information to help you carry out the survey work in the Hisui region. To read them at any time, simply press the up button to open the menu, then go to the help screen. Handy tips for team members. Don't wish your toils to be forgotten? Diligent record keeping will save you from such a fate. Saving your progress. To save your progress, press the up button and open the menu. Then scroll with the ZL or ZR button until you reach the save screen. There is also an autosave function you can use to have your progress saved automatically. You can enable or disable autosave by scrolling to the help screen in the menu, then selecting settings. Thank you, disembodied voice. It's a dresser for very solid construction, where extra sets of clothing can be kept. It's a paper lantern. It seems to be to use oil as its fuel. There are some lovely stones that someone must have found, but they're just plain old stones. Can I... Is there a way to... First person view? No? Oh, wait. There we go. Are these, like, maybe mega stones? Or evolution stones? Hmm. It's a full-length mirror. I can't change outfit yet. Investigate. I want to investigate. No! I wanted to investigate! Not yet. Our five principles. Behave with courtesy to others. Superiors are owed your respect. Likes and dislikes are a luxury ill-afforded. Those who are weaker must be helped. Well, I'm weaker, and I'm not going to be helped unless I can pull my weight and therefore am not weak. Hmm. Difficulties must be faced head-on. Head-on. Apply directly to the forehead. Well, to rest we go. This is a tiny bed. Well, I guess it is a futon. At, at this rate, I don't think I've ever slept on a futon. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a bidoof. Well, something came through. If I knew Pokemon cries, I would probably be able to get that foreshadowing. The next day... Man, this now this is hitting me like Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. <laughs> Two different isekais. One that keeps you a human, the other turns you into a Pokemon. Hey, you in there? You awake? That was some wild lightning last night, right? Anyway, if you're up, come on out. We have you surrounded. Go on to the Galaxy Team Headquarters to hear about your trial from Captain Celine. 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 Ah! Why are there two L's? Did you sleep all right? I know that's not easy in a strange new land. Stranger in a strange land. We better not keep Captain Selene waiting. Let's hurry to headquarters. Sure thing, my boy. Then maybe I can get out of these short shorts. We've no food for freeloaders. Survival out here is a daily battle, you know. Help the weak, you say. Commander Kamado is fantastically strong. Beauregard? That's an interesting name. I think I've only ever heard that name before in a Scooby-Doo movie. 
Rumor has it he once in a Pokemon flying with one of those sumo throws he's so proud of. That's probably because he's a fighting type. Still love that loading screen icon. Like sprinkles flying out of a portal. I love it. Here we are, Galaxy Hall. What do you think? Ever seen a building this grand before? Don't give up. Keep those eyes open. And the wild Pokemon. They they were everywhere, attacking from all sides. I sent out my partner Pokemon, but against a whole pack. Outnumbered. This is what happens when you go so far afield, but the medical corps will put it put you to rights. You uh do realize that if you fail your trial and get flung out of the village, you could well die out there. Well, you might die even sooner than that if you have to take on this trial without a Pokemon to be your partner. You are very much helpful, Ray. Very much- is that- is that an Abra? That looks like an Abra. Captain Selene, ma'am, I brought Neon. You may enter. Yeah, it is an Abra. Adorable. Let us get straight to it. If you wish to join the Galaxy Expedition Team, prove yourself capable by going out into the Obsidian Fieldlands and catching three different species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. Three species right away? But none of us have ever managed that. Did this stranger not catch three different Pokemon only yesterday? My trial should be simple enough for her. If the professor wasn't exaggerating things, that is. Galaxy Team does not have the means to provide for those who only take without giving. If you wish to stay, you must prove beyond any doubt that you'll be an asset to our cause. I will lend you one of our Survey Corps satchels to carry whatever you may need in the field. I've got a bag. Bag attained. That whatever it is you're wearing doesn't suit our satchels in the least. It's called a t-shirt. Ray, I'll expect you to step in if anything goes awry. The Galaxy Team's Entry Trial! Activate Guide. Ah, that's not what I, I wanted more information, but oh well. Oh, maybe this is the guide. Press the Y button while consulting the map on your ARC phone, and you can check the tasks you have waiting. There are two types of missions and requests. Missions must be completed to progress your adventure, while requests are optional and given by people you meet. Pardon, Neon. Come with me for a moment. Now then, a jolly good morning to everyone. What do you need, Professor? In order to complete our Pokédex and, well, simply survive in this unforgiving land, Neon absolutely must pass this trial. And as a Professor of Pokémon, I've got just the ticket to help accomplish that. I'm totally picky. I'm, I'm stuck between Cyndaquil and Rowlet. Which one do I want? Cyndaquil or Rowlet? Mm. Rowlet becomes Decidueye, and that's cool. Actually, I forget. And Oshawott becomes, I think, a weird Pokemon, but it's definitely down to uh, uh, Cyndaquil. I'm, I'm, I'm going to go Rowlet. I'm going to go Rowlet. Go on, Neon. Pick the Pokemon that strikes your fancy. With a partner of your own, you'll be able to fight off wild Pokemon outside the village. These little darlings are very dear to me, but it's plain to see they're rather curious about you. Well, my girl, which Pokemon would you like to keep as your very own? Choose a Pokemon. I shall choose Rowlet. Cool. Do you want Rowlet as your first partner? Yes. My precious orb. I shall ponder you. And with that, one of the Pokemon you caught at the Prelude Beach for me will now be yours to keep. Good show! I've tucked Rowlet back inside its Pokeball for you. So take it, it's yours. <laughs> Bombs, oil, rope, it's yours, my friend. I love the music. Hey, that little jingle, I loved it. It had a good feel to it. A word of advice, my girl. Pay close attention to which Pokeballs are empty and which ones contain a Pokemon when you're out in the field. Foom! Plash! Look at those two cheer on their pal, Rowlet. Or maybe they just wanted to help Neon with her trial. That could well be. They did go dashing from the village when Neon fell out of the sky, after all. 
Well, not to worry you two. I'll have you assist me with my research for now. Plish plash. <laughs> By the way, what species has Captain Silene charged you of catching? Three. Oh, that's smashing. All three of those species can be found in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Let me give you some Pokeballs to use during your trial, then. Oh, no, only 20 this time. He had no faith with me before. These Pokeballs may be handcrafted, but they work a treat, as you've already seen. You'll have this trial cleared in no time. Let's be off. I'll show you the way to the Obsidian Fieldlands. Meet me at the gate to your left as you leave headquarters. Depart the Obsidian Fieldlands from Jubilee. Up on the third floor is the office of the Galaxy Team's commander, Kamado. You're not going up there until we know a little more about you, mystery child. Can I go into the... Hello? We're running low on potions. Guess I'll need to go and gather more materials. Hey, it's Nurse Joy! <laughs> well, Pesely here. Pesel? It's safe here in Jubilee Village. Don't forget, you can always return here to rest and recover. You know, unless I fail my mission and I get told to get the, get the hell out. <laughs> and I don't even get 500 elephants. Let's see. I can send out Rowlet. I'll have to play with that. I charge off into danger. Hello, children. This region is huge! Oh, we already... Oh, wait, you said something else. But you came here... Oh, yeah, oh, we already got that. P Pokemon terrify me. Even going out to gather berries is the worst. Hello, package man. Package woman? Package man, I, I got it. Oh, what a curious get-up you have there. I can already tell you're quite the character. Quite the character yourself, my dude. I'm Volo of the Ginkgo Guild, the go-to choice for any of your mercantile needs here in Hisui. I've heard talk about you. Fell from the sky, didn't you? Now that's certainly a tale I'd like to hear. Oh, and you've a Pokemon. You're certainly full of s interesting surprises. Investigating the odd and novel is key to any good merchant's success. So what do you say? How about you and I see how our Pokemon stand up to one another in battle? Sounds good. I like you better and better. What a delightful find. I've also heard about this trial you're to attempt. Let's have a quick battle to get your blood pumping before you head out. Though I hope you know you'll lose if your Pokemon's HP reaches zero. Our first Pokemon battle. Nice. Ginkgo Guild member Volo challenged you to battle. This music. <laughs> I love it. I love this music. Battle. Hmm. Fight. Use gust. Continue fighting. Beat them up. I love the UI here. You can, you can move around! <laughs> I love it! It's so simple, but I love it. I love it so much. Good job, Rowlet. Battle decided. Moves, items, use them well, and the world will open up to you. I love it! I love it! I love it so much! It's always good to have fun, uh, it's always good fun to have your Pokemon do battle, don't you think? And as they gain experience through battle, they'll learn more moves and grow even stronger. Pokemon moves. Pokemon sometimes learn new moves when they level up. If you want to change the moves your Pokemon can use in battle, open your satchel, choose the Pokemon you want, and select the change moves option. Ooh, I'm excited. I am excited. But so few people here have their own Pokemon. If only more people knew how to use Pokeballs. At any rate, let me help our two battlers recover from their little exercise. Classic sound. Sound effect. And to you, my sky-fallen friend, 
I present some potions and thanks. Thank you, my dude. Potion, a topical, a topical medicine meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 60 HP to a single Pokemon. That certainly beats po- This just goes to show, modern Pokemon is scamming you because they only heal like 20 HP in Pokemon Yellow. You can use them on your Pokemon whenever. They might be worn up uh, whenever they might be worn out from battle. I'll be hoping that you've success you're successful on that trial of yours. More galaxy team members means more customers for yours truly after all. I like that guy. I like the cut of his jib. He looks fabulous. He battled me. The awesome music. You can walk around the battlefield. <laughs> if you can battle that well, I've got a feeling you may have your trial well in hand, even if it's more to do of catching than battling. Now, to the Obsidian Fieldlands! Whenever you leave Jubilee Village, you have to pick a destination from your map and let rest the guardsmen know where you're off to. That way, someone can come collect you if things go wrong. And, well, just... bury you. <laughs> hey, I hope you make it through this. Thank you, my dude! You're Neon, correct? I was informed you'd be passing through. Your trial will take place outside the safety of the village. Please take care to come back alive. I love it. I love the feel of this game. Galaxy Entries Trial. Alright, let's press Y. <laughs> I'm in an unfamiliar land. <laughs> Professor Laventon has brought you to Jubilee Village, an unfamiliar settlement bustling with unfamiliar faces. How will you find your footing in this strange land? Requested by Celine. You've been set to trial. You must clear to join the galaxy team. If you want to stay in the village, catch yourself a Bidoof, a Starly, and a Shinx in the Obsidian Fieldlands. Depart for the Obsidian Fieldlands from Jubilee Village's front gate. And uh, in your quests, no requests. All right, well. I love it. And you can zoom. <gasps> you can even zoom in. I love it. I love this map. I love the feel. I love the music. Let's go! I want to go to the field lands, my dude! I love it! They didn't even give me pants. Well, I guess I am a youngster, and shorts are comfy and easy to wear. So even though this is kind of Monster Hunter-ish right now, I think I'll like this more than Monster Hunter World because the feel so far, wonderful. And this is our base camp. It's where we start and finish our surveys. Now remember what you've got to do. You've got you've been tasked with catching three species of Pokemon. Bidoof, Starly, and Shinx. I'm curious to see if the professor's stories about you are really true. Uh, professor, something wrong? Ah, uh, well, you see, Captain Celine got a hold of me after you left. She impressed upon me that I bear full responsibility for whatever happens to our sudden guest. She doesn't let up. How exactly are you supposed to help out here, Professor? To be honest, my dear boy, I don't intend to lift a finger. Neon's talents are the real deal. She'll pass with flying colors. You'll see. So in other words, I'm still the one bearing the responsibility here? Not my ideal state of affairs. Well, let's get started. You'll be more than equal to this, Neon. I hope so. I don't want to die. Catch a Bidoof. Oh, you say a thing, my dude? Need to switch uh, up your Pokemon or buy items? Okay. Ah, uh, now we're out here in the wonder. Look at the light! I like the lighting there. It's just, well, it's less lighting and more reflection. I love it. I love it! And thankfully, Ray isn't trying to sabotage us. This is Aspiration Hill. Some people might criticize these graphics. I love them. Obsidian Fieldlands. Was that Pokemon glyphs or Japanese? I'm dumb. I have made an Arc Roto phone. Congratulations, Purple Fire Kitty. It's a Bidoof. I must catch the Bidoof. You may be some sort of prodigy, but just in case, here's what Captain Celine taught me. Focusing in the field. Hold down the ZL button to focus on a wild Pokemon and keep it in your sights as long as it's nearby. This technique comes in very useful when aiming Pokeballs at a target or when dodging Pokemon attacks. Bidoof is a mellow Pokemon, which means it doesn't tend to run away when you approach it. Aim carefully, let your Pokeball fly, and you ought to be alright. I love the feeling of this game already.
Hello there. Pokeball. Would you like to come with me, Bidoof? Haha! <laughs> and I sent it to you on Discord. I'll definitely check it out. Let's see. Haha, <laughs> that's cute. I love it. I can't wait to get to, like, the Rotom section of the games because I'm just going to play through all these Pokemon games. I love it. One Bidoof caught. Now, on we march. We got to find the, the birds of evil. And a, <laughs> and a Shinx. Catch a Starly, the second Pokemon. Now Starly here, it's the type to run at the drop of a hat. I love it. But not to worry. Crouch down in the grass and it won't spot you. That's how you get close. And then, learning from our examples, Pokemon will be the ones to run and hide in the grass and jump out at us. <laughs> press B to press the B button to crouch and make it harder for wild Pokemon to notice you. Press the same button again to rise. If you creep into the tall grass while crouched low, you'll be even harder for wild Pokemon to detect. I love the sound design so far. Go Pokeball! Critical hit! Love is! And that's Starly caught too! I admit, I'm impressed so far. I don't know. I feel like it's kind of insane that nobody's caught three Pokemon in a row. Give me a Pokemon that you have encountered. Like in this game, I've only run into the starters Bidoof and Starly. I've only just started. Can I grab? Are these Apricorns? I forgot to share another smidgen of wisdom. How to throw your poke your partner's Pokeball. To quote Captain Celine's wise teachings, have an item at the ready but want to send out a Pokemon? Press X. Have a Pokemon at the ready but want to throw an item? Press X. <laughs> the captain's a real expert on these things. So, when doubt, press X. Then once a, you've got a Pokemon ready, try aiming for certain rocks or trees like this one. Your Pokemon will hunt for berries and things, and it'll bring back whatever it finds. Now it's time for your partners to shine. We've reached your final hurdle, catching a Shinx. Uh, this one I want to do Pokemon Inspire. Look. Hmm. Trying to think. If I can nominate Eevee, I nominate Eevee. But otherwise, I guess Starly, if we're talking about this game. I guess I'm gonna... Go to the tree! Yeah, attack that tree! And got berries! Now this really... And you got experience from that! What about these rocks? Wait, music... And I have them, too? Ah, that's how it works. I love it. Ah, we can't just have him out. Where are you even going? Ah, maybe that... Maybe he summoned it back for me. Is that... Who is that? Uh, is it guard? There it is. Shinx. He's adorable. Shinx has an aggressive disposition. Did you know that already? It... It has what? Don't worry about it. Just focus on the Pokemon around you. You'll figure it out quick enough. I think he's trying to get me killed. Once aggressive Pokemon get wounded, they'll knock away any balls you throw. When you use the ZL button to focus on a Pokemon, you can see how easy it may be to catch. The more arrows you see pointing above a Pokemon, the easier it'll be to catch. The An X icon will appear above a Pokemon if it is picked up picked a fight with you. Be warned, Pokemon displaying this icon cannot be caught unless you engage them in battle. But not to worry. I'll teach you the trick to catching them. You draw them into a battle. Once it's caught up in the heat of battle, you can throw a Pokeball to try and catch it. You've got a few Pokemon for your own use now, don't you? Take one of their Pokeballs and throw it at a wild Pokemon you want to battle. Use what you've learned in the Battle of Volo. Get out there and make your last catch. 
Starting Pokemon Battles It's easy to start a battle against a wild Pokemon. Simply throw a Pokeball that contains one of your Pokemon at it. If you can see that currently you have an item ready to throw, not a Pokemon, press the X button. It will allow you to toggle between your thrown items and your Pokemon team. I'll do both Eve first. Yay, Eevee! Go, my boy! Rollick looks so happy to begin fighting. Hmm. I wonder what that uh, triangle means. No info available. Cool, there's so much info and stuff. I guess we'll do, like, the different styles. Use Leaf Edge! Shinx is looking around. I shall use a Pokeball. Booyah. You caught it. I am in a natural. Wait, did you really? You really did it. You did it. That's three species of Pokemon. God, you really are some kind of prodigy. I am a gamer. You must have given Professor Laventon the shock of his life. First you fall from the sky, then you go and catch all of our escaped Pokemon once one after another. I honestly didn't believe the professor's story until I saw you in action for myself. And here you are, with three Pokemon caught. You've completed your trial. I'm the best. I'm the best. I'm the best. Honestly, I'm going to raise the music. Oh, I said you'd pass the trial with flying colors, and it seems you went and did just that. Congratulations, Neon. You've taken your first step towards seeking out every Pokemon. This calls for a commemorative photograph. That is, I love that. That I love that classic look of camera. I love it. I look hideous. This t-shirt is not photogenic. I've got to admit, it's true. You've got real talent for this. Now then, we'd best report to Captain Celine. Time to head back to Jubilee Village, eh? I love this game already! I love this game already! I hope that it sticks. I hope that it stays. I hope that the flow of the game invigorates me even more. Granted, I might just get sucked into doing all the requests. Eventually, you should be able to have Pokemon you've caught go live in the village pastures. The most Pokemon a person can have of them while out exploring is six, apparently. Not that we have anyone who can manage that. I think it makes sense in this case because they don't want all the Pokemon to go missing at once if you get annihilated in the field. <laughs> Come on now, you two. Let's not dilly-dally. Captain Selina awaits our report at headquarters. I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. She'll probably have no reaction. And it'll still be incredible shock. Did you hear? I won with flying colors. Nope. <laughs> still just normal. I am not a layabout. I'm not a freeloader. I am a god. Well, I mean, god is on my side. <laughs> I I literally have the power of anime and god on my side. <laughs> I can't wait to see the captain's reaction. Surprise, Captain Selene. I win. I won. It seems you won't have to leave. <laughs> it seems we won't have to leave you to die after all. Congratulations. You've passed your trial. You can hold on to that satchel. I must admit you've impressed me. I set a high hurdle to judge whether a stranger like yourself could be worthy, but you cleared it. Was that a frickin' Mickey Mouse tag on my shirt? This is yours, the official uniform of the Survey Corps. Survey Corps uniform and a pair of Survey Corps sandals. Yeah! Get changed in the room you used last night, then you are to report at once to the third floor. Present yourself in uniform to our commander. This is your first official order from your captain. I have to see. There is some kind of sh I can't get a closer look at it. That icon. 
Go change it to your uniform. Use the mirror in your quarters to make sure you put it on right. So far, loving this. The music, divine. A bit of a frame rate bippity bop there, but hey. Get the survey cubs, you're all you hear. After all, we've no food for freeloaders. Even after I prove myself, it's still freeloaders. Some Pokemon prefer rainy days, you know. Me, I just stay inside and enjoy a nap. Love it. I love this so far. I'm super excited. Do you want to change your outfit? Yes. I have to look official. Time to put on your Survey Corps uniform and your Survey Corps sandals. Ah, uh, you can have so many options. <laughs> Casual tea, can I? Alright, so it's not a Mickey Mouse. It's like Circle Circle Triangle or something. I don't know what brand it is. Survey Corps uniform. And Survey Corps sandals. Those don't look like sandals. They look like super heavy boots. Contacts! Contacts! Pay, uh, I can be ultimate anime. I don't know why we just have contact lenses, but okay. Lavender eyes. Yes. 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 Love this. Love this. I'm loving this game so far. You changed into the Survey Corps uniform. Now I am a fish. Look at you in the Survey Corps uniform. Now it finally feels like you're one of us. One of us. One of us. But I do wonder when the captain decided to go ahead and get a uniform ready for you. She knew I would succeed. I see you've changed. Regarding your accommodations, you may continue to use the room you slept in last night. You may wear this as well. Ah, I've got a hat! Yay! Technically not a hat, but I call it a hat. Nods of approval. Now present yourself to the commander. This is an order from your captain. Report to Commander Kamado. On the third floor. I love it. The kind of classic feeling of the Pokemon music while still feeling kind of modern. A bit uh, wonky uh, floating with the... Oh, it's because I was walking. So yeah, a bit of a uh, bit wonky, but I still love it. That little, that, that little stuff... <laughs> People complain about the graphics, the animation stuff. I love this so far. He looks badass. I have been waiting for you! I am Kamado, commander of the Galaxy Expedition Team! Hmm, so you are Neon. Hmm, yes sir! Hmm! I've been briefed on your situation, including how you fell from the rift in the sky. Now then, let's see what you're made of! Oh god, this is where I- FACE ME IN COMBAT! Try to throw him. Yeah, Sir, I am but a child. Hmm, you've got some fight in you. Your sumo needs work, but I do see some potential. Don't expect a warm welcome from everyone. Naturally, some will be slow to trust an outsider who literally fell right out of the blue. Well, actually, it's kind of a, a shiny crack in the black sky. It's not really blue. The superstitious among us might see your arrival as a portent of disaster. But you passed the trial that was put to you. No matter how odd you may seem, you're part of Jubilee Village now. Dedicate yourself to the work of the Galaxy Expedition Team and complete the Pokedex! Sir, yes sir, Commando, sir! Commando. 
But I warn you, Neon. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. Keep your wits about you as you work. I love that we just got judo tossed by the leader of the galaxy organization. I'm, I'm loving this. This is amazing. I got judo tossed! So the commander has also accepted you. But understand this. You begin as a no-star recruit among our ranks. In other words, you have no rank at all. Perform well as a member of the Survey Corps, and you will move up through the ranks. Indeed. You see, the more you add to the Pokédex, the higher your rank will become. And working on the Pokédex will also, of course, bring you closer towards that goal of yours. To seek out every last Pokémon. Here, you will need this. Ah, recipe for crafting Pokéballs. Recipe, Pokeball, a recipe for crafting Pokeballs from scratch. Required materials, one Apricorn, and one Tumble Stone. And, and 3,000 Poke Dollars as well. You'll have to buy the necessary materials. Until I can start finding them and conquering the land. Ray, you are an expert at crafting yourself. Teach our new recruit what she needs to know. Yes, ma'am, Captain. Get ready for a lesson in crafting. Crafting means making items from scratch. And that's right, whatever you need in your survey work, you'll mostly make yourself. Some things you can buy at the general store, but it's good to try to be self-sufficient. This way, we can even catch Pokemon with Pokeballs we've crafted ourselves. But listen to me, prattle on. Let's go to the works, uh, craft work so you can try yourself. The basics of crafting! Activate guide! I want all the information! Or maybe this is actually, maybe the guide is just, oh, I, you can diddly see. Orin berries so I can heal. What do you have to say now, my dude? Commander Kamado's office is on the third floor. Keep up the good work, new kid. I am the best. Around. Nothing's ever gonna keep me down. Well done earning a place in our team. My name is Anth. Uh, Anth, I'm the local clothier. The professor asked that I cha uh, ready you a change of clothes, so here you go. I do hope they fit. You received an everyday kimono and a pair of everyday trousers. I hope you'll avail yourself to the village's humble shops. I wonder what that, like, castle-looking place over there is. Hey, hey! This way to the craftworks! Or maybe that's the craftworks. Nope. It is in that direction, but not technically there. This here's the craft works, and uh, that there is the workbench. It's where you craft things. Pretty self-explanatory, right? It's a briefcase with a hammer in it. When you step up to the workbench, I'll supply you materials to make some Pokeballs. Call it a present to celebrate you passing your trial. And as for the money the captain gave you, feel free to spend it however you like. Any recipes you get should tell you that what materials you need to complete them. At the workbench, just choose what you want to make and then go crafting. Go on, try it out. Crafting items. You can use the workbenches in Jubilee Village and the base camps to craft Pokeballs and other items. Crafting items requires a recipe and the necessary materials. Time to craft! Apricorn, tumble stone. And you can favorite. You can favorite. You can favorite. You can favorite. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. I will. I'll create 999. I love this. I love it. I love the UI. I love everything about this game. I love it. You made 10 Pokeballs. You put them in your satchel. Booyah. Oh, -ho! now that's some fine craftsmanship. Hard to believe this was your first time stepping up to the workbench, my girl. You'll recall, of course, that Pokemon possess the odd power to shrink themselves down. With, with the Pokeballs we craft, we can make use of that power to catch them. I always thought it was something to do with the mirrors inside the modern Pokeballs, but I guess they're trying to do the... Err. Ancients. Also that, mo also that more Pokemon species can be duly recorded in the Pokedex. And on that note, 
Here you are. You received a Pokédex. Pokédex, a volume for compiling the collected results of much Pokémon research. Professor Laventon continually adds to uh, adds to it with each report made on new Pokémon species. Scene seven. Four caught. Tasks with unreported data seven. Research points zeros. To next rank five hundred. A newly discovered species of Pokémon. Catch one to report. I get to catch them. I get to catch them. Mm -mm -mm, I love it. Rowlet. But I've already caught it. It's my boy. I caught all of these. But I've been cheated. Oh. <laughs> uh, I love it. I love the look of it, too. It, it harkens back to the old Pokédex from Pokémon Yellow. Before it was really a technological dealy. Love it. I prepared this volume just for you. I hope, it at, I hope it aids you well in your aim to seek out all the Pokemon there are in this grand region. It'll take plenty of research tasks to help the professor complete the Pokedex. I've got to get going on those myself. I'd be all too happy to explain more about the research tasks I could use your assistance with. Come join me at the Fieldlands camp whenever you are ready, my good Neon. Activate guide! Hey, excuse me. I couldn't help but overhear. If you're going to the Fieldlands camp, would you mind taking care of a request for me? I'm a standing guard, so I can't leave my post. But I'll be here at headquarters if you want to talk to me about it. Accepting requests. People who have something to ask of you will have a request icon displayed above them. If you fulfill their request, you may receive a nice reward. What do you need, my dude? My dude, Bori Guard. Hey, so there's this Pokemon called Wurmple. Have you heard of it? Yeah. Well, you see, I was having a chat with Professor Laventon, and he told me that the, after a Pokemon gains a certain amount of experience through battling and the like, it will sometimes change its appearance and become stronger. He said it was a phenomenon called evolution. Evolving Pokemon. That looks like a Pikachu evolving into a Raichu. Some Pokemon can undergo evolution, which changes their appearance and stats. If one of your Pokemon has met the requirements to evolve, you'll be able to select the Evolve option when viewing the Pokemon in your satchel. I like that. I like that. I like that. And so I decided I want to raise a Wurmple myself and have it evolve. Uh, you're a part of the Survey Corps, aren't you? If you catch a Wurmple, would you let me have it? There'll be a reward in it for you, I promise. Just give me a Wurmple if you can. Wurmple can evolve. I love it. Check Pokédex. I love this game already. Oh, I love it. I can sneak around town. Welcome, young lady. What can I help you with? Hmm, not yet. Here at the Clothier, you can purchase new clothes such as kimonos and shoes. What can I help you with? I would like to buy clothing. I'm trying to see the difference. Oh, the icon? I'm trying to think. What is changing with these? Or uh, do I need to uh, do I need to select it? No, not yet. I wanted to. Uh, it's probably because ah, there we go. It's probably because I couldn't wear it with my current diddly d. So it's like no, you can't do that. Understandable. Karate gi. Neat. If you want to be a karate person. Ah, sandals. Various types of sandals, too. Ooh, you can even get glasses. Glashes. I love it. I'll come back later. Once I have more money. Those years, hmm. No, I can't recall them. I know Shinx's ears have odd markings on the insides, but what were they? No use. I can't remember. This will keep me up all night. Hey, aren't you with the Survey Corps? If you catch a Shinx, could you show it to me? I've 
gotta see one with my own eyes. Please, I can't remember for the life of me what those ears look like. It's driving me up the wall! Do I not have Shinx with me? Oh wait, I do. All right, Shinx go! Got all those Shinx to show me? Shinx, select. I wish I could have just thrown it out. All righty, let's have a peek at those round ears. That's it! Its ears have a yellow cross pattern on them, kind of like a star. Can't tell, can't tell you what a relief this is. Felt like I had a bone stuck in my throat. Only the throat's my brain, and the bone's a thought. Thanks for helping me get that bone out. Ah, ooh, three potions. Nice. Thank you, my dude. Ooh, another thing. Can I look at it? Ah, so there's two more. Two more. Have crops grown in the field. I can plant orange berry! Yum. I wonder what a starly would look like. <laughs> I have a starly. You're the newcomer who fell from the sky. Are you heading outside the village? Of course you are. The Survey Corps have, must have... Uh, must have to get... Uh, well, my brain. I cannot read proper words. The Survey Corps must have to get out on uh, about to compile that Pokédex book they're working on, right? Well, on your way, kindly do me a favor. Find out all about Starly. Pokemon certainly are terrifying creatures, but when I see a Starly, I simply feel whole. Not that I have the least desire to actually touch one, mind you. Please let me see Starly's in tree in the Pokédex the moment you've completed it. Oh, good up. Because I don't think I have a complete Pokedex on Starly. Number of different you've obtained, numbers defeated. Ah, so yeah, there is a bit of grind to it. But this is for like each individual one of just doing it. Investigate the Bidoof, the Bother the Village, Method Unknown. Huh. Very interesting. Cool to know that that exists. I'm pretty new to the village myself. You already talked about that. Let's see. It's all the way at the front gate, maybe? New request. Yep. Yes, and then. Love it so far. A big buzel. <laughs> Can Pokemon of the same species really come in different sizes? I know the professor said they do, but I'll have a hard time believing it unless I see different sized ones lined up side by side. If there really are Buzel bigger than mine, I'd love to see them alongside the one I have, for comparison's sake. Adorable. And you're unnatural when it comes to catching Pokemon, right? I bet you see where I'm going with this. If you catch a Buzel bigger than mine, would you let me have it? I'll make it worth your while. Neat. I love it. I'm gonna go to the... Oh, you're standing here. I'm so bored, I wish something would happen. If there's a place you're hoping to visit, you got to stretch out your map and put a pin in it. I love it. So far, loving the feel of the game. We've only been going for about an hour. We went through a rock, but that'll... I can... I can accept that. Gotta expand these airfields to help feed all the new folk coming to the village. It's tough picking berries out in the wild, so I'm hoping we can grow them here instead. Here in the village. Here in the village fields, you can have crops grown in, if you have exchange for a fee. Here to grow some crops, are you? No way to tell you how the yield will be, but we'll give it our all. What kind of harvest would you like? Apricorn. It'll be 500 for that one. How about it? Sounds great. Oh. I, for, I, I did completely missed the the mustache mustache. So far, loving the feel of this. Level two, level three, and all that. Love the feeling so far, and all the atmosphere. But let's go back out into the field. Oh yeah, I forgot. I can run. You got anything to say? 
You'll see he's possibly bursting with Bidoof and lots of other Pokemon besides. It's no exaggeration to say this land belongs to them, really. I just don't think humans are ready to settle here yet. There are only Pokemon here. Obviously, this means that only Pokemon deserve to be here until humans come of their own volition. But humans coming of their own volition is ba still bad. Look at that loading screen. I kind of missed the sparkly sprinkle portal, but that is great too. Right-ho! Let's get to it then, shall we? In order to complete this Pokédex of ours, there are a great many research tasks I'll need your help to carry out, my girl. The details of these tasks can be found in the Pokédex for you to reference any time. Research tasks are tasks you need to carry out to complete the Pokédex. Each Pokédex of Pokémon species has a number of different and variety of research tasks. Press the down button to open your Pokédex, then check what kinds of research tasks are available for the Pokémon you've registered. When you're focused on a wild Pokémon in the field using the ZL button, you can also instantly check the research tasks that the species by pressing the down button to open your Pokédex right to that page. Some Pokémon have some unusual research tasks, so be sure to check them out. You must catch and battle diverse Pokemon species and carry out plenty of research tasks. Do so, and you'll gain research points and other rewards for your work. Now there's one more nugget of wisdom I've got to share, Neon. Wild Pokemon may attack you at any time. When they do, dodge like your life depends on it. Dodge? Look, just watch me, would you? Then you'll be able to copy what I do. Because you know you have the Charingan. And here I go. Combat roll. See? That's how you dodge. A timely dodge will keep you from getting hurt by fierce attacks of wild Pokemon. And that's, <laughs> that's key if you'd rather not end up blacked out in some field like I did. When those shinks got me with Thundershock, I might have been done for if the security corps hadn't come and saved me. But hey, no need to worry. You've got me to give you tips. I'll teach you plenty. Thank you, my boy. Getting work on research tasks. Dodge. And there's no stamina. We'll have to continue the tutorial, I guess. Get ready for some Survey Core wisdom. Focus on a Pokemon with the ZL button, then press the down button. Yeah, we already went over that. You'll see the task you have for that Pokemon. Ah, Bidoof. Did you see that? Your research task for Bidoof include one about how many you've caught? That's right. Catching just one won't do it. You've got to get two, then four, then more and more. I love that. And when it's time to battle a Pokemon, remember the captain's switching wisdom. If you have items out, press X to ready your Pokemon. Give it a try now if you want. I'll go on ahead. So far, I'm loving it. Ba -ba 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 -ba. I'm loving it. Go rock! Oh, I can speak to it. It is me, the Pokemon Whisperer. That's how you return. Neat. Now I wonder how I get more tumble stones. Hey there, Bidu. Let's see. Let's try. Come with me. Ha! Huh, nice. And you level up Pokemon just by catching Pokemon. Neat. Hmm. I want to check out this Pokemon. Or not Pokemon, but this tree. And I'll look at that. Apricorn, yay. And an apricorn, yay. Hmm, I wish there was. Oh, change focus. Hmm. Number defeated. 
I shall send out my boy. Fight! You must defeat this foe. Quick attack! Roll out! This motherfucker knows roll out! Fixated. The Pokemon is fixated on the last move it used. This move will deal increased damage. Oh, that's not nice at all. And I don't know how, how to go into heavy mode. Quick attack! Ah. I think I missed just something in the turn order. But beat up that Bidoof. Love it so far. I love it. Wait, what's that Pokemon over there? What's this? Medicinal Leak. Oh, it's a Starly. The ones that run away at the slightest provocation. Go! Dang it. Go again, Pokeball. Damn it, I missed. Go, Pokeball. That one didn't warn its friend. Ooh, wait, what's that? Wormple, I need a Wormple. Hmm. Go Pokeball! Haha! There's these small little challenges. Ah, this one seems to. I would like to change focus, please. I'm pressing the change focus, but it wasn't changing focus. That one's asleep. Keep throwing. Keep capturing. I love it. Finding animal, uh, well, animals. But finding items. Hello, my dude. Are you a tutorial? You should have your Pokemon smash open sparkling rocks for you. You'll find tubble stones inside. The same tubble stones that you need to craft Pokeballs. Ah, these shiny rocks. Better smash. Medicinal leak. Hmm. Better fight your brethren. Roll out on it! The wild bit of. Ah. Uh, darn it. Beat up the dude! Fixated on roll out. <laughs> the wild bit of doesn't know what to do. The poor fool! Only you had tackle. Destroy your brethren. Oh, it has dropped an orange berry. 
so far, I'm liking the feel of this. Uh oh. It wants to fight! I have to distract it with my Rowlet! Alright. Leaf Hedge! Let's go ahead and defeat this one. Ooh, critical head. And another thing. Let's see. Go to Satchel. Oh, it's me! Because <laughs> I actually have uh, a diddly D. Let's see. Change moves. You can learn more moves than just the moves. I love it. That's amazing. I love it so far. I honestly wouldn't mind it that much if, like, the main series kind of went in this direction. I honestly wouldn't mind it. <laughs> Let's try I missed. I need to get the arc down. Let's try and go for that one. Move it. Dang it. I'm a terrible at catching starlies. The AV look is finished and sent to the sea. Neat. More medicine. But well, we should probably get back to Ray. He's probably waiting for us. And there you are. Right on time. What are you going to teach us today, Ray? I know I'm laying it on thick, but don't forget to open your Pokedex when you focus on a Pokemon to check your research tasks for it. You just hold ZL and press down. Try checking your tasks for Starly next. One of your tasks is to catch Starly without being spotted, right? You can get that done if you hide in some tall grass to catch him. Give it a try. I'll go wait for you up ahead. Come catch up once you finish some tasks. I already went and did that with Wurmple. Hello, guard dude. The more energy a Pokemon's got, the harder it'll be able to catch. Harder to be to catch. If you battle a Pokemon and lower its HP, or maybe inflict paralysis with a move like Shinx's Thundershock, it should be easier to catch. Let's see. Shinx, get me more Apricorns. Nope. Well, you see nothing, Starly. Let's see. Number caught. Number defeated. Number of different forms you've obtained. I've obtained two different forms of it? Hmm. And number evolved. Well, that won't do it all. We have to capture it. Now, just don't escape and alert your friend. Aha! I thought I honestly wouldn't get that one. Shink, get more apricorns or we'll use the berries. Hearing the Pokemon call is really interesting. Oop, it's a Shinx. Catch you up in steam. Ah, nice. Oh, combat. Go, fight that for me.
beat it up with quick attack. Now Thundershock will really work against it. You beat up the boy! I wonder if you can just quick... You can quick change. Nice. Don't have to go to items and throw it. It's no good. Well, that's not good at all. We can't risk it. You have to defeat your brethren. Quick attack. I got a cherry berry. Very cool. Well, we can't have you go out again. You'll just get annihilated. Go Pokeball! What's that over there? Crystals! Darn. Well, now wants to fight. Go Rowlet! Use Leafage! Try and lower it down a bit. Gus. Perfect. Are you ready to join the team, Shinx? Even though we'll probably put you away forever. But that's why you get experience for doing things. For catching Pokemon, for getting Apricorns and stuff. It's so that you can level them up and evolve all. Oh, I love it. Love it. You, times have you seen it use Quick Attack? So you actually have to let your Pokemon get beat up. That's kind of mean. Let's see. Starly, beat up that tree for me. You don't have to go and collect it. So far, loving the mechanics of this game. As an open world ish Pokemon game, I think it's going above and beyond. This is wonderful. Some reservations here or there, but, like, even the gameplay loop so far seems really good. What's over here? I wonder what that is. Go Pokemon. Darn. I wonder what that is, and I don't want to get into a fight. What? What is this? Vivichoke. When the sound just goes away, is interesting. Whoa. I probably should get out of here. That is probably my sign to get out. <laughs> a Luxray? Nope. 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 I have, I have strayed from the path of danger. There we go, maybe. Get up here. Yeah. I hear the cry of a different Pokemon than all the Shinx. And I'm just like, that doesn't sound good. Turn around. There's a second evolution. Fear. Give me some apricorns, will me? Will ya, Starly? Be a crit. Come to me, little Starly. Oh yeah. Yeah, so far really liking the feel. And the flow is actually pretty interesting too. The fact that everything seems to give experience to a degree is wonderful. 
And, it, and I'm only at the, like the start of the diddle ding game. I love it. Oh, I wasted a Pokeball. I thought I had Starly Spunted. <laughs> Damn you, muscle memory. <laughs> Damn you. Fireman. Fireman. I need to watch more Kadikaris. Kadikaris is a wonderful time. So yeah, a little bit of like frame rate stuff, but meh. I can take it. Get berries for me, Starly. Thank you. I wonder, are there any Pokemon in the water? Hmm, doesn't seem like it just yet. Buzel. We'll have Shinx take... Oh, Shinx is really low, so... I guess we'll have Rowlet take him on if he... You've seen him. Oh! Rowlet! Take on the monster! It's coming to fight me! Beat him up with leafage! Wow. You saw it use quick attack, but I now I throw Pokeball since it's super low. Huh. Oh, for a moment I was just like, wait, did did a a medicine plant just plant itself? Technically, yes, because it dropped it. Around here, you can find Pokemon called Buzel. It's got an aggressive disposition. I just beat one up. That means it'll try to hit you with its moves, just like Shinx. And you'll need to battle it to catch it. Unless I can catch it on a wares. The dangers of taking damage. If you take too much damage within a short time, you'll be in danger of blacking out. You can tell you're in danger when the edges of your screen turn red. Damage goes away over time, but you won't begin to recover if you're still being targeted by a wild Pokemon. If you take further damage after the edges of the screen have turned red, you'll become overwhelmed and black out. Speaking of which, your research tasks for Buzo include seeing it use a certain move. You gotta see the move in battle for it to count towards that task, so battling is extra key here. I'm gonna go ahead... Come catch up once you've checked off some of Buzel's tasks. I only have so many. Pokeballs left. I wonder if I can craft out here. Well, I guess I could go back to camp. Yeah, take, uh, take a rest and do some crafting. I guess I'll go do some crafting. Let's see, can I... Can I... Oh, you can just go there, but I want to I go there on my own. So I shall. You have a selection of stamps too. That's amazing. I love it. So far, loving this. Loving this. <laughs> I can definitely tell that this is not, uh, won't be everybody's favorite. People will probably have some gripes with this game. I'm loving it. I can take the problems that this game can theoretically have here. Ooh, medicine plant. This is, like, similarly to, like, uh, it's like a different level of, like, a chill-out game to me. Okay, those guys see me. They are angry. I move away. Am I going the right direction? I'm... The shinks have cut me off. But I need more rocks, tumble stones. I forget, I can run. Run with the best of them. Love this. I love the feeling. And this is only the beginning of the game. Just wait until I can actually start riding Pokemon. Go 
go Pokemon. Let's go Pokemon. Hmm. Let's try and throw someone out for... Hmm. Starly. Beat up this poor Shinx. Use Gust. Well, that's not nice at all. Oh, crap! It went twice?! I need to look at the turn order more. All right. Hmm. Bidoof, swap out. Yes, animations, I love it. So far, masterful. Masterful. Come with me, Shinx, and we can conquer the world. But yeah, so far, I'm loving this. The fact you can throw out Pokemon in the overworld, this free camera and stuff. I could just, like, spend forever just walking around. Hello, Bidoofs. Bidoof, 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 Bidoof. But we need to make, it, make our way to the actual camp. I'm on my way to camp! You can't attack me! I can't roll up mountains, but I wanna! <laughs> but I wanna! Nope, you can't roll up mountains like this. Oh, the one downside. It's not a perfect open world. You can't Skyrim up mountains! We shall head to base so we can craft some. Love it. Need to buy or switch up or buy items? Come on by. But I got, I'm got. i going to craft. I shall craft all that I can. Well, I probably shouldn't because that would be a little... Because I don't know what other things these will be used for. Don't need to go crazy. Hmm. I should probably read up on these. Like, uh, a berry that can be fed to a Pokemon to restore its HP by 20 points. You can also throw this berry near wall Pokemon to draw their attention. Cherry berry, a berry that can be fed to a Pokemon to cure its paralysis. You can also throw in wall to draw their attention. Also called Morning Dew Bud. It is used as a material for crafting items. It can restore vitality to a Pokemon. Grit Dust, a mysterious dust that can raise the effort level for one Pokemon's stats. It can be used to raise effort levels only up to three level, however. Interesting. So now I know why you can attract Pokemon. It'll probably distract them some. We can't climb, but we can roll. That was neat. The 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 air physics or like the way it's animated is great. All right, now let's go try our luck of Buzel. Or maybe Go Barry. You saw nothing. Let's see. Uh, 
I will try and uh, catch you. But I guess it's more like to get them into one place, maybe, so I don't know. Surprise! That's uh, Sami. Let's try and get one Starly that doesn't see us. No Starly over here a bit ago. Hmm. Here, Starly, Starly. Starly wouldn't hang around Shinx. Shinx is a bit violent. Let's see. There's only that one. St well, maybe there's more Starly over here. Up, oh, we took damage. I am fool. Cold darkness around the side of the screen, though. We actually get to see that. I wonder what the different sound effects when it hits, if that counts to anything. Ah, and that counted as not being spotted, because I guess we ran away enough. Now let's try some Buzel. Ah, let's try and go... Buzel. Oh, you actually get to see. Different levels. We need to catch more. Number of large specimens caught. We need to defeat one. Ooh, if electric type moves. Use aqua jet and different forms obtained. So we're going to... What? That Buzel did a thing. It looked weird. And I missed it because I was trying out <laughs> things. But yeah, let's heal up Shinx. Ah, oh, there you are, Shinx. Surprise! Awesome! You can catch them unawares! Thunder Shock! That looked cool. That looked cool. Loving this game. Loving it. All right, Shinx, beat up some rock. Something's shanking in that tree. I gotta, I gotta see for myself what's shaking the tree, Bill. I wonder if they'll let me across the bridge, or if it'll be a tutorial gate. Ah, uh, you can't run for too long. So yeah, he'll probably be, uh, sorry, you can't come through yet. But tree is shaking. Hello, dude. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass until you're a first star recruit. Understandable. But tree is shake. Tree shake. Tree shake. I want to know what shakes the tree to and fro. There you go. Let's see. Uh, number defeated. Well, let's go ahead and defeat some then. Go, Shinx. Get it unawares. Thundershock!
Yeah, let's head back in the... Oh. Berries, please. Where be more Buzel? Also, the placement of where he is makes it look like he's hiding from the Buzel. Like the one Buzel that was here. Ah, another Buzel. Multiple Buzel. Let's hit a Buzel's page. We need to see one use Aqua Jet, and we need to catch more in general. Try and catch him like crazy. Ha! Huh, I got lucky there. It feels unnatural to get this lucky with catching Pokemon. Other side of the bridge, huh? Does that mean I could swim? Because that looks like the other side of the bridge. Hello, Bidoof. You're a nice Pokemon who don't want to eat me. That I know of. Oop. Hmm. Starly. We could try and defeat more of it. All right, Shinx. Starly is keeping its guard up. It's ran away. Ruddy coward. Hmm. Give me more tumble stones. Ah, guardman. What did you guys say, guardman or guardwoman? If you're feeling worn out, have a rest in a uh, tent at one of our base camps. You can also rest he there to pass the time. If it's nighttime and you're scared of uh, be out surveying, the tent is a fine option. But what about Pokemon that only come out at night? Like Schneezel! Oh, darn. Oh, thank you. My Shinx is very intelligent. I love the animations. Don't you dare run. Why do you get three turns? Gee, Starly, how come Game Freak lets you have three turns? I want to fight Starly. Darn cowards. We need to beat more of them. But they are very scared. Was it a Starly noise? Yeah, Starly. I love that the sound kind of goes away when you enter tall grass. Hmm. I'm just wandering around this little tutorial area looking for star <laughs> Starlies to murder. I am the monster that keeps you up at night. We haven't beaten a Wurmple. What's strong against a bug? Eh, it's just a bloody bug. Beat it up. Use bite! Oh, that's not nice at all. Thunder shock. Lol. 
love this game already. I wonder how difficult that Luxray would be to beat, but let's continue because we did some challenges. Hey, Ray, what's next? You gonna revive these Apricorns? You're doing pretty well for a mystery stranger from the sky. Here, a little reward for keeping up with me. Your own crafting kit. I obtained the crafting kit. Crafting kit. A kit containing everything you might need for crafting, even when there's no workbench around. However, you can only use the materials you have in your satchel. The crafting kit. You can select the crafting kit from the key items pocket in your satchel to craft items wherever and whenever you like. However, unlike at a workbench, you'll only be able to use the items in your satchel, and you won't be able to craft more items than your satchel can hold. And here's a recipe for potions, too. What does it guy say? Recipe potion. A recipe for crafting potions from scratch. Required materials, one orinberry and one medicinal leek. With a crafting kit, you can craft items anywhere using whatever materials are in your satchel. So long as you've got an apricorn and a tumble stone, you can make a pokeball anywhere. Or with an orinberry and a medicinal link. A uh, link? Medicine link! Link went into hospitalization. With a medicinal leak, you can whip up a potion, so heal up your Pokemon whenever they need healing. I'm actually really liking this, and honestly, if this kind of... If they added more traditional Pokemon stuff here, I would not mind normal mainline Pokemon games becoming like this. Research going alright? You can see if you've got tasks ready to turn in on the Pokedex cover. Tasks with unreported data, 37. But I don't see it. I do not see it. Once you've got some tasks good and done, go check in with the Professor Laventon. See you soon. Report your research tasks to Professor Laventon and earn a sufficient number of Pokemon research points. Let's see. Missions and requests. I have uh, three Buzels. Show uh, the completed Pokedex entry for Starly. And I have three Wurmples. So basically, let's look for more Starlies to do. And for Starly, D D D D Starly. Well, there's no way we're going to complete it yet because... Uh, well, it's more like... Uh, Probably isn't... I don't know. Well, uh, let's see uh, about catching and beating up more Starlies. We have to catch them unawares. We gotta catch them unawares. But uh, while we're here, I will... Key item. Craft. Craft some medicinal links. I love it. I love it. Once again, I would not mind if actual Pokemon mainline went like this. I love the feel. I like the fact you can pick up items. I love the fact that you can catch Pokemon unawares. You can run around the battlefield. Now that's a bit oof. We're looking for Starlies. Maybe if we really wanted to, we could try and see about that scary-as-hell Luxray. But the likelihood of us actually catching it is slim. Wrong one. Let's save my progress. I love this. This is, up, this is becoming one of my favorite Pokemon games. So long as this continues being good. Because a lot of people probably worried about the grind with the Pokedex, but at the same time, the Pokedex has always been a grind. 
But, like, kind of worried that it would be more mission-based. We're like, oh, no. But I don't seem too bothered by it. Go Pokeball. Catch more Shinx. Battle! Cut you unawares, you dirty little fiend! Use Leaf Hitch! Two stunts. Leaf it! I need to learn almost. Ah. You think you got me, but I have you. Ah, it's too far away. Go! Rally! Oh. Well, that's not good at all. Let's swap out. Let's see which Bidoof. This one has more health. Go, Bidoof! Use roll out. Well, this is going to roll out. Ah, hell. Luckily, I have a second bit of. Use tackle attack. I love the animations. Mm. Ah, beat him. I want to see that Luxray. Potentially. Ooh, thing. Thing, thing, thing. Fang! Catch him unawares. From up top. Okay, creepy music. Now that's really Breath of the Wild. You saw nothing. You see nothing. You didn't see anything. God dang it. Eh. Eh. Because you're probably a decent level. I shall escape you. You will not find me. I love the different contextual musics, too. Uh oh. We must escape. Oh, yeah, I think it was down here that we saw it, not over there. And these other specialty things. Actually, let's use the potion. My poor Bidoof is knocked the hell out. You can change the names at any point? Can you? What should... I know what to name you. 
You. You're Robin. For obvious reasons. I wonder what that icon next to the gender symbol is. Hmm. Thoughts for later. Let's see. Shrink. You want a battle? Uh. Don't become a double battle, please. Use tackle attack. Rollout is too inconsistent. If we're not careful, we'll get annihilated. We're not careful. Number defeated. Five out of ten. We are the ultimate annihilator of all things. Alright, you wanna fight? Oh! You I can use them to gather items for me! And then I can run away like a bitch! I love it. I didn't even know. I was gonna throw Bidoof out to fight when I could have just sent Bidoof out to gather. Alright. Rock's too hard to get to. Send out your Pokemon. That's kind of scary, with the glowing eyes of doom. What lo <gasps> level fucking 40? Literally cannot be caught. Okay, yeah. I'm just gonna go away. Yeah, I'm just gonna escape. I thought it would be like, I don't know, level 20 or something. Nope, it's level 40 and it wants my blood. I thought it would be like, haha, I will try to catch this Pokemon. I'm guessing that Blood Red Eyes of Doom is just a sign that. <laughs> yeah, you can't. You're not catching this Pokemon, kid. You, you, you're just not catching this Pokemon. What's this? Wood. How magical! Go, Pokeball! Nice. And number without being spotted. Extra cool. I wonder. Oh, yeah, I guess nothing would have happened if I tried to catch the Luxray. Because it's a badass and it says, fuck you. Oh, I meant to throw a Pokeball. And I guess I did. Kill. Keep your guard up all you like. I'll still annihilate you. Stardust? Ooh. What be Stardust? Lovely red sand that flows between the fingers with loose silky feel. It can be sold at a low price to the general store. Ah. Merchant fodder. Go Pokeball.
I missed. So instead, we must battle you. Get back here. Hold it in place. Kill. You can keep... No, oh, you get back here, you cowardly bug. Go, bit of... This one caught us unawares. We must kill it now. You fool. This is Bidoof the Mighty. It never loses. Wish we spent so much time out here. Just rolling around at the speed of sound, beating up Pokemon, capturing Pokemon. And... Oh no! My trend of getting critical hits, but only at the end. It has returned. Even here. Even now. Go Pokeball. Darn. Hold it in place. You thought you could get away. You cannot. It's too stunned to move. It's too afraid. Afraid of me. Well, with all that done... Wait a minute, am I on the other... I'm on the other side of the bloody... My dude, you've done a terrible job at saving me! You've done a terrible job! I got past you anyway! I am amused that you can actually do that. At the very least. That is hilarious that they actually let you do that. You can walk around the bloody bridge. Oh. <laughs> is he gonna be like, how they, uh, how'd you get behind me? Hello. Oh no, it's, no, uh, my bad. I was just coming from a different direction. Okay, yeah. I am the dumb one. I think. I'm getting turned around five billion. Yep, I am the dumb one. I am the dumbest. I thought it would be funny if you could. And I'm sorry, the, the river kind of looks the same from one side and the other. I am the biggest of dumb. I got so wrapped up in my... This is why I need maps. Ooh, nighttime Pokemon. I'm going to catch one of you. Hehehe, <laughs> new Pokemon. I stayed out here so long, I'm going to get kidnapped. Why was that one per evil aura eaten? Come on, come with me. The real trainer experience. Uh, that won't work. Uh, beat him up. Beat up this Drifloon. Well, that's not very nice at all. Leafage. Uh-oh. Uh, dust. Wait, there was an L and R. We'll have to take a look at that L and R. I keep forgetting that exists. Strong style. It's swap. Strong style. Strong style or agile style? I uh, finished it off of strong style. I earned the styles. I don't know how this happened, but it's cool. And he learned a new move. I'm loving this game. I'm loving it. We spent so much time. New Pokemon came out to play.
love the music too. And catch a bidoof on my way out. Maybe catch two bidoof. Dang it, I missed. Oh well. Nope, 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 nope. Driftwood wants to carry me away. I say no. I do not consent to being carried away by a balloon. I am not Winnie the Pooh. I have caught many Pokemon. Oh, if it isn't a crafting kit. You must have listened attentively to Ray's teachings. Excellent work, dear girl. This seems a good time to explain to you about survey reports and rewards they offer. Earn money for survey reports. When you submit survey reports, you'll receive money based on the level and number of Pokemon you've caught. You'll receive more money if you fulfilled certain conditions, such as catching a species for the first time. On that note, let me check the research tasks you've completed thus far. I've caught a lot of Pokemon. 25. 20 or more in one report achieved. Six different species. Pokemon caught for the first time, six. Pokemon caught using a backstrike, 12. Reward for this report, 3,000. Last time, I, I got 3,000 for catching three Pokemon. I see, most illuminating. I'll update our Pokedex with this new data. By carrying out research tasks and submitting re survey reports, you'll raise the research levels of the Pokemon species you encounter. If you raise a Pokemon entry to level 10, that entry will be considered complete and you'll have unlocked all the detailed information you had to be had about that species. As you carry out tasks and complete the Pokédex entries for different species, you'll also gain Pokémon research points, which you can view on the cover of your Pokédex. Once you've earned a certain number of points, you'll be able to move up through the ranks of the Galaxy Expedition <laughs> team. Not Foundation. Ooh, ah, I guess we completed Rowlet. Yay. Flies noiseless, noiselessly on delicate wings. It has mastered the art of deftly launching dagger-shaped feathers from those same wings. Preferred foods. Ooh. Items carried. Spoiled Apricorn. Cool. <laughs> Times you've seen it use strong style. Times you've used... So, yeah. So, what's the super complete if we get everything? Habitat. Unknown. Cool. We need to do more with Bidoof. Starly. They live in fields. Oh, form. Uh. Oh, male and female forms. Got you. <laughs> this one is either or, I guess. Very funny. They live in fields and mountains, gathering in large flocks. Their cries are quite obnoxious. Though small, their wings are strong. Stri a strike from them leaves pain that persists for a week. I've only been doing this research for a day. Love it. Shakes his body to generate electricity. We beat up so many of them. And already research level 5. Okay. And here I thought I had to do a lot. I. <laughs> my first. You've made good progress on these research tasks, Neon. I do believe you're ready to move up the ranks. Let's head back to the village and report the good news to Captain Selene. It's time you earned yourself a star. I get a gold star. Yay. So far, really loving this. Hello, dude. Here's a photograph studio. You can take photos together of your Pokemon. Ever considered preserving the lovely memory of your Pokemon as a photograph? Come on in and give it a try. I'll definitely have to remember that. But yeah, so far, amazing. Hello. Did I complete it? Oh, you've completed Starly's entry in your Pokedex? Hurry, let me read it. Hmm, wait one moment. Male and female Starly have different appearances? Let me see. 
So the markings on their foreheads are different sizes. Incredible. I had no idea. Thank you for letting me read its Pokedex entry. Now that I know more about it, I imagine I might finally bring myself to touch a Starly. Please, if you can find it in your heart, catch a Starly and bring it to me. There's not a Pokemon in the world so adorable as Starly, I tell you. I have six. <laughs> Will you show me a Starly? Oh, pasture one. Let's see. Level four, level three. You can have this level two Starly. Since it's uh, lower, you might like it more. And it might grow to like you. The smooth curl of the feathers on its head. Those lovely round eyes. Oh, it's lovely through and through. I adore it down to the last feather. Well, hello there, Starly. Hey, want to pet it? <laughs> no! I think I'm quite satisfied just looking at it after all. Besides, it might lose a move. Who outside of the Survey Corps Security Corps could actually do so if these so prideful approach a Pokemon willingly? All the same, I must thank you for showing me the sweet Starly. Some people see a Pokemon and simply flee on sight, you know. Perhaps being able to read all about Pokemon in that Pokedex might put them more at ease. <laughs> That's hilarious. Training Grounds. Galaxy Hall. Farm. Farm. Drop off Pokemon to be cared for. Very cool. I love it. Hmm, I wonder if I can go see if Buzel Man. Is that a person? Throwing Pokeballs is all well and good. Just don't throw away your life, kid. He had a giant mug. Can I show Buzel to the man? Have you brought me a bigger Buzel? Let's see, which one's bigger? Let's try this one. Check summary. Height 2.2. 2.4. 2.5. 2.6. 2.7. 2.8. Let's throw out this one. Sure. Good gravy! I never expected you'd bring one so quickly. I'm afraid I'm looking for a bigger one, though. Well, that's at least 2.8 would be great. I'll need to find better places, but let's go ahead and put our Pokemon in pasture and maybe bring some out. Have a Buzil on the team. Hello, my man. Oh, you're from the Survey Corps. Well, then. Can you tell me how Pokemon make themselves so tiny? We just know that they do, my man. The pasture house, the many Pokemon you catch. Collect them from here to change up your party. Do you have Pokemon you'd like to leave here for me? Let's see. I will leave this Bidoof. And this Starly. And I'd like to take... Well, since we have uh, two places on the team, I'll take this level three, Buzel, and uh, maybe bring out a Drifloon as well. Or do I want uh, Poison? Do I want Bug or do I want Drifloon or do I want Bug? But the Bug becomes cool things. I guess I'll try the Bug. How many pastures are there? You're just the box! So there's eight pastures for now. Change markings? I don't know what that does. I guess so you can differentiate them <laughs> upon first look. And now let's talk to the guard dude. Give him a wormple. Hello, Bori guard. Have you got a wormple you could give me? Hmm. Could give up my big strong boy. Have this one. 
You really brought me one. You must be as good as rumors say. I'd like to name this Wurmple right away. Now I've been told Wurmple will evolve into a Pokemon known as Beautifly, so I should give it a name with that in mind. Hmm, this is a tough decision. Which of these do you like best? Beautasia, Beautifred, or Bugene? Because <laughs> you're Beauregard! <laughs> I'd say Beautisha. Yeah, I like Beautisha too. I guess that's decided then. I'll raise Beautisha to be a splendiferous Beautifly. Wait and see. Absolutely loving this. Let's talk to you. What do you got to say? They say hunger is the best seasoning, but I'd rather rely on the quality of my suit foot roots to make my potato mochi tasty. We even see Beautisha right there. Hello, boss. I dominated. Hello. Abba. If you have progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. Ta-da! Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. With this, you have officially attained the rank of first star in the Galaxy Expedition Team. New rank! Love the jingles. You can now use heavy balls. Pokemon of up to level 20 will also obey your rely orders reliably in battle. The rewards you earn for your survey reports will be more generous now too. Have these as well. We have for the recipes you'll need for crafting. Heavy balls. Recipe heavy ball. A recipe for crafting heavy balls from scratch. Required materials, one apricorn and one black tumblestone. You have obtained recipe for revives. A recipe for crafting revives. Requires materials, one vivichoke, and two medicinal leeks. That a stranger like you should fall from the sky and it flourish among us like this is a testament to your native talent and hard work. Most people prefer it when things are simple enough to be judged on face value alone, and proving your worth by moving up through our ranks is something anyone can understand. Keep at it, and even if you did fall from the sky, people may be more willing to accept you. Working your way through the ranks will also be a help if you wish to make a life for yourself here. A higher rank will grant you access to more types of Pokeballs and greater rewards. Getting to work on research tasks complete. For today at least, you've earned yourself a meal at the Wallflower and a good night's rest. So, Neon, my girl, I believe a jolly good congratulations is in order. Well done on earning your first star rank. Our usual order of potato mochi tastes even better when there's something to celebrate. Hey, by the way, have you taken on that request Beauregard had? I did. Well, most people here don't know much about Pokemon. You've noticed, right? So it's our job as the rescue survey, uh, not the rescue, the survey corps to take care of any issues that crop up because of that. We're basically Pokemon problem solvers. Indeed so. Some people will ask you for help when you talk with them, while other requests will need to be claimed from the blackboard I keep in my lab. Speaking of which, what'd you approach with a request recently, Ray? What's it all about? That one might be a better fit for Neon than me. I don't think I'll be able to pull it off unless I get better at Pokemon battling first. Ah yes, that request came from Mai of the Diamond Clan, if I recall correctly. Haha! <laughs> Is there a Pearl Clan and then a Platinum Clan out there? The, per the people of the Diamond Clan have lived here in Hisui since before the Galaxy Team arrived. If we could establish good relations, I'm sure there's much we might learn from them, including more about the local Pokemon. But we can discuss all that tomorrow. For today, we should eat up and get some rest. So far, loving this. Loving this. The next day.
Hey Neon, before I go meet Mai about that request, mind showing me how to do how you do in battle? Of course. I will annihilate you. Great. I'll be at the training grounds. If you've been catching lots of Pokemon, you can change up your team at the pastures just so you know. I already found that out. Because I'm a prodigy. You can also tell I'm better because my scarf has two tails. I find it funny that she still says the same. I wonder why I have a bar. Blackboard. Tra oh, trading post. Exchange merit points for items. Trade Pokemon with others. Hmm. Here at the Craftworks, we sell materials and recipes. Can I help you with something? Uh, crafting recipes? Remedy, a potion for crafting remedies from scratch. Honey cake. From scratch requires... Hmm. Ox guard. A recipe for crafting... What is an ox guard? Remedy probably gets rid of status effects. Honey cake, I have no idea. Ox power uh, maybe increases attack, and that would increase, uh, I don't know. What about materials? Springy mushroom. Cake lure base. Oh, wait, there was an extra thing in there. Can I s swap between the two? No, I can uh, sell stuff, I guess. Super neat. Oh, and there's a hand icon for ones that you can actually throw out in the overworld. Love it. Craft. I love that they still have the revive. It looks like a diamond. I love it. We shall create three revives with what we have. Make more. Hello, trading post. Here at the trading post, you can exchange merit points for items and trade Pokemon with others. Good of you to stop by. What is it you need? Uh, what can you do for me? I offer a couple of different services here. Which is it you want to know about? Tell me about trading. I can put in touch with people interested in trading Pokemon. They can be people close by to you or people located far off. Both are fine. I offer a couple of different services, and then uh, how to get items. You gather merit points or MP for helping people on the lost and found, right? Well, I didn't know that. Well, you can exchange MP for items you'd like. Uh, get items? I have no merit points. Reaper cloth. Linking cord. So yeah, just certain items, Pokemon, Pokemon items. And evolution stones. I love that look of evolution stones. I hope to God I can find Eevees. I want to find Eevees. Hello, old man. Shrine Guardian, watch over us. That's the symbol of Arceus, I think. Lucille sells for... Oh, I thought that was her talking. Lucille sells various protective charms that come in handy when you're out exploring the wilds. I'm here to give thanks to the guardian of this shrine, who watches over all Jubilee Village. And you, child, if you're here with a prayer for the shrine, perhaps my charms can help. What is your wish? What do the charms do? If it's lost items you wish to prevent, I could suggest the tempting charm for you. Should you ever faint, it magically becomes the first item to vanish from your satchel taking the place of other items that would have been lost. If you wish to keep yourself from fainting, the survival charm is what you need. Simply possessing this mystical item makes one less likely to faint while exploring. If good health is your greatest wish, the warding charm is your friend. It gives one the mysterious ability to escape the effects of status conditions inflicted by Pokemon. I hope you follow all that charm. Now tell me, what is it you wish for? Uh, I guess stay in good health. Oh, I have just the charm. Sure. This charm is imbued with mysterious powers of the Shrine Guardian. May it serve you well. 
Warding Charm R, a mysterious charm that holds the power to protect a person from being afflicted with status conditions. This charm comes in five different colors. Did that look like uh, one of the badges? <laughs> Are the charms just the badges from this place? So you're the new recruit from Survey Corps. Don't slack on making the Pokedex of yours. An actual Pokemon field. Thanks for talking, uh, taking a minute for me. I know your plate's full right now. I'm going to be straightforward with you about something. I mean, everything all right? I don't understand how anyone can handle taking on Pokemon in battle. I know I'm a Survey Corps member and even got my own partner, but I just can't do it. Your partner? That's right, take a look at my very own partner. Oh god, he's Ash Ketchum! This is my Pikachu. During that Shinx attack, I should have had Pikachu fight at my side, but my mind just went blank. And, and really, when you get right down to it, Pokemon are terrifying, right? Why should this thing be able to fire electricity? <laughs> I love this game. Hmm. Pika. But watching you at work uh, completing those research tasks convinced me. If I want to do my Survey Corps well, well, my partner and I have to get to, to be a team. And our first step toward being a real team is to battle your team. I love this. I love the look of this game. The Survey Corps, Ray, challenged you to a battle. Go, Robin! You'll probably be annihilated because you're a flying type and it's a Pikachu. Huh, not that bad. Use Leafage! Okay. Never mind, you're gonna annihilate him. Defeat. Obliterate him! Love the music. He went too fast, though. Well, you seem so in sync with your Pokemon. Yay, level up for the other dudes. That was amazing. The way you fight alongside your Pokemon, you don't seem one bit scared of battling. We'll just have to catch up best as we can. Right, Pikachu? <laughs> Pika! Ah, uh, fair enough. Pikachu's got a bit of a tendency to attack, you see. That's why he normally stays in his ball. I guess the first step for Pikachu and me might be getting a little friendlier with one another. Oh, by the way, the professor said Pokemon have these things called types which apparently make a big difference in how battles go. Pikachu here seems to be an electric type, for example. Type matchups, they actually give you the type matchup board. Awesome! Both Pokemon and moves have types. The type matchup between a move and its target Pokemon determines how much damage is taken. Moves can be super effective, effective, not very effective, or completely ineffective. Here are some examples of matchups. Fire-type moves are strong against grass-type Pokemon. Grass-type moves are strong against water-type Pokemon. Water-type moves are strong against fire-type Pokemon. So you're the one. The new recruits everyone's talking about. The name's Zizu, Captain of the Security Corps. I see you've got some fight in you. Figured I'd stop by and give you advice what I could. Captain Zizu is a master of an ancient martial art where you guide Pokemon in battle. Now listen, if your Pokemon's truly mastered its moves, it can actually use them in different styles. On the one hand, you can choose to deliver a move in strong style. The move will deal more damage, but afterward it'll take longer for your Pokemon to act. On the other hand, you can choose to unleash a move in the agile style. Such a move will have less power behind it, but your Pokemon can move, act more quickly afterward. In truly favorable conditions, it might even get out two moves before the opponent can act. Strong style moves, agile style moves, and of course, regular moves. Choose which is right for a given situation and direct your Pokemon with a little nudge. Agile style and strong style moves. Once your Pokemon has mastered a move, 
you can have it use the move in either Agile or Strong style by pressing the L or R button, or the left or right button when selecting a move in battle. Sometimes your Pokémon will naturally master a move and unlock these extra styles simply by leveling up. Reduces the power of the move, raises the po uses more PP than usual. Uh-huh. Got it. Oh, one more thing. If you want to teach your Pokémon some powerful moves, just let me know. Well, they're certainly handy to find out about, uh, before going to tackle Mai's request. You remember? I mentioned it earlier. I'm heading down now to see about Mai's request. I'm supposed to meet her down past the foot of Aspiration Hill. You should come along too. Get ready. Then meet us down there, would you? And by ready, I mean double-checking what Pokémon you'll bring, and maybe even teaching them some new moves from Zisu. A request from Mai. I should have hit guide now. I'm a failure. Here at the train grounds, your Pokemon can master their moves or learn new moves. Hello there, Survey Corps recruit. Do you need something from me? I want no moves. So which of your darling Pokemon do you want me to tutor? Hmm. How about Buzel? Ah, awesome! Rock Smash, Swift, and even has the power. Let's see, Robin. What can you er, learn? False Swipe, a restraint attack that prevents the target from fainting. The target is left with at least one HP. That might be nice. Aerial Ace and Rest. <laughs> Magical Leaf. Curious leaves that chase the target. This attack never misses. And they're all 60 power, except for False Swipe, which is a 100% never miss. Well, no, these never miss because they don't have an accuracy, diddly. This has a, an accuracy of 100, which means if accuracy is lowered, it can miss. Got ya. And you can just buy the moves. I'm gonna get False Swipe. And, uh, let's see. I wish that I could actually see the power of, like, Roost and stuff. Let's learn these. Here we go. Yeah! She just punches my Pokemon. Let's see. What about you, Shinx? What can you learn? Jesus Christ, you can learn a lot. Fairy type. The user stares at the target with its baby doll eyes. This lowers the target's offensive stats. Rest. Swift. Ice Fang. Thunder Fang. Fire Fang. You might be a nice all-rounder. I want to learn all... I want you to learn these. Shinx, I'm going to give you a name. This is where I'm going to spend most of my money. What can Drifloon learn? Ominous Wind, Focus Energy, Calm Mind. What about Whirlpool? What does Whirlpool currently have? Nothing! 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 <laughs> Thank you. I guess I'll go ahead and go. But before we go, 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 someone deserves a name. Grab. Let's see. Change moves. Ah. Because these three are already in there. And then Firefang. Confirm. And then you can just swap them out whenever. This is wonderful. Just get rid of the forget move guy. Love it. 
Let's see. Change moves. Let's quickly take a look. Gust. 40 power. Leafage. 40 power. Bruce. Lands and rests its body. The moves restores the user's HP. So... I think I'll... Yeah. And then Aerial Ace can go in there as well. I love it. I love the feeling this gives. And I guess I'll go to my room and put various items away so I can carry more. Because we have a limited item space. Any... Nope. Doesn't seem to be any... Exchange grit items used for training Pokemon. Wait. I need to see that now. I have grit, I think. Wah! Uh, I want to exchange items. Was it you're in the market for? Never mind. I don't know what that is all about. I just saw. Ooh, I have grit. But well, I guess let's quickly check on that apricorn harvest, maybe. Hello, my dude. What you gotta say? Great timing. We're done gathering the harvest. Crops turned out real nice. Just a plan. How many do you get? 33 apricorns! Uh, medicinal harvest. Sure. This sounds... I like this. I like this! This, like, I... Even though I was going to get this game, no matter what, just because it looked super cool, it, Pokemon was doing something new. Do you have anything new to say, my dude? Pretty new. Nope, nothing new. But, I just saw some, like, I was going to get this game one way or another because it's just, like, it's so interesting. It's so different than normal. I know. <laughs> nope, still no freeloaders. I just love it. The small differences are wonderful. All right. Uh, move item to storage. Hmm. I can just... Ah, uh, uh, there we go. An apricorn that's had its insides eaten. Hitting a Pokemon with it may stun the Pokemon, creating an... I'm, I'm going to keep that. Bugwort, a wildflower that can be found growing across the Hisui region. It does have medicinal properties, but it's so bitter that no wild Pokemon will eat it. I'll go ahead and put you away. Grit Dust. Dust that can raise the effort level for one of the Pokemon's stats. It can be used to raise effort levels up to only three times, however. Ball of Mud can be used to become stiff and hard. Hitting a Pokemon with it may stun the Pokemon, creating an opportunity. Honey that sparkles with an amber hue. It is beloved by bug Pokemon and Pokemon with fairy-like charms. So they will gather wherever a comb is thrown. I'm going to keep that because I want Pokemon. <laughs> I'm beginning to love this game. I love it. So far, just utterly fantastic. I can't wait to see what more is to come. You know what? <laughs> I have so much money. I would like my hairstyling. Go on and have yourself a seat. I'll put things aside for you. Now then, my dear, what sort of look, look would you like? Ah, uh, there we go. You can actually check and see. I'm gonna keep it on slate. Nah, that kinda looks weird. Ah, 
I'll keep it in the Survey Corps style. I wonder if this is changing. Oh, my eyebrows! I only ch I only noticed when it just disappeared off my face when I clicked gold. I don't really, I don't really want to change. Confirm. I'll have you stout and ready in no time. Primarily because I'm not going to change anything. There, all done now. Why, well, you look simply wonderful. I, it's almost like I didn't have to do anything. Well, let's go on in another adventure. I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving this. This is utterly fantastic. Heading out to the village again. Stay safe. Let's see, missions and requests. There don't seem to be any new... Uh, uh, just big bu buzzle. Experience Candy S. Hmm. And a request from Mai. So catch Buzel and just head out. But yeah, so far, I'm loving this game. So far, this is utterly magical. Boo! <laughs> did I surprise you? I bet I did. I was trying to, anyway. There's a secret technique to catching Pokemon, you see. It's what I call the secret backstrike technique. Hitting a Pokemon's back with your Pokeball will surprise it, making it easier to catch or giving you an advantage once your battle starts. The secret backstrike technique. Hit a wild Pokemon from behind for a higher chance of a successful catch or to gain an advantage when starting a battle. This secret technique is called a backstrike. If you're part of the Survey Corps now, working to create that Pokedex as they all are, you might end up meeting every last Pokemon here in Hisui. You should know I'm already looking forward to the day you accomplish that. I like that guy. I got this real great mushroom recipe. Oh, you're that girl from the Survey Corps who fell from the sky, aren't you? Listen here a moment. I need to tell you about this great cake lark recipe I invented. I call it the mushroom cake. I poured 20 years of mushrooms foraging know-how into coming up with this recipe, and I just know it's a winner. Problem is, the folk around here just aren't catching on to my recipe's amazing potential. If you're the talk of the village, if people see you're or making my mushroom cakes famous as you are, I'm sure they'll want to give it a go too. Yeah, I'll teach you the recipe. I'll have all you have to do in return is spread the good word by using it. Oh, and you'll need to go get the key ingredient for the recipe yourself. Scrounge, not from the forages of thy fellows. As the old saying goes, one springy mushroom's all you need. I'll be waiting. Mushroom cake marketing. Marketing. And just a few new requests. Prosperity's lost satchel. Norm's lost satchel. That's probably an online thing where people die and then you can save them or something. <laughs> I'm not gonna fucking die. Fuck you. Dee -li, li li is that how it goes? Mm, that marvelous rich tone, how is it produced? I must know. Uh, uh, hello, didn't see you there. Wait, you're from the Survey Corps? Wonderful, just the person I need. I want to learn more about Cricketot. You must be curious about them as well, right? I mean, how do they make those sounds of theirs? It's a musical mystery like no other. I'd be in your debt if you could complete Cricketot's page in your Pokedex and show it to me. So I, uh, I mean, we can uncover the truth. Alright, so we just go about foraging. Foraging, find Cricketot's. I wonder if there are shiny Pokemon in this. I kind of want to know. Let's see. 
number obtained. So basically, I need to catch, defeat, number of heavy specimens too. Investigate the Bidoof that bother the village. Method unknown. Number you've evolved. Hmm. Well, I guess, uh, let's just try and catch him. Wrong one. Go! <laughs> Are you gonna be mine? Oh yeah. Well, let's see. Go ahead, turn around, little boy. Never mind, this is a battle. I, I messed up. Bidoof is keeping up its guard. Use Aqua Jet. Dang it. It turned too fast. Too fast, too quick. Still got it, though. But I wonder what a super complete Pokedex entry will be like. Like, what it'll do. Catch you both if I can. Just because I can. And number I've caught without being spotted. Gotta go around from behind. Dang it. Ha <laughs> ha! You can't get away! Use Aqua Jet! Gets too caught off guard to run away. Destroy! <laughs> Plus two others. And I just need to use Aqua Jet a bunch. Times you've defeated with an electric type. Mm. But I need to catch him a bunch. I ran into you. Scary. Let's see, we need to also catch and beat up more Bidoofs. Since we already did Starlies. Research level 10, so I don't really have much use for you except for super grinding out things, but I don't want to spend all my time on that. Leave me be, I am a child. You're actually a big specimen. I like that you can actually see. Dang it. Nope, now it wants to battle, now it ran away. Well, I guess less wants to battle more. He's just like, oh no, they're trying to capture me. And then flee. You want to go? Quit sm 
smacking my cat. Quick. Thunder shock. It didn't look that big anyway. Ball of mud if I just want to abuse a Pokemon. Hmm. We're already at level 10. So I won't bother with it right now. Okay, kind of silly music, but I, I can I can dig this music. You're not a big specimen, but I can still catch you. I want a huge specimen. I want a bit of the size of my head. I think this is where the views will hang out. I need 2.8 or uh, yeah 2.8 or bigger abusal. Go. And I just need to catch him in general. Can I check through the Pokemon that I have? Nope. Lost and found. Check it out. Other people have lost. Oh, that's how the lost and found works. Understandable, but still. <gasps> Is that an Eevee? I found Eevees! Hell yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, now it's running away. But hey, I found an Eevee, and I caught an Eevee. Yay! That makes me more than happy. I got one. It's going on my team. Eevee is being on my team. I think I might just name it after myself. Now that's a big bit of... <laughs> but I got an Eevee. I found an Eevee! Eevee! I'm so happy. <laughs> Go, Shinx, kill. Thunder shot. Ooh, we haven't even used you and you can evolve. <laughs> sure, my dear, dear. I love that actually lets you know. Well, let's evolve. Ready to evolve. Let's see it evolve. Yes. Congratulations. Your Wormpole evolved into a Cascoon. Cascoon got the idea for a new move. I'll take it. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. That uh, looks kind of small. Dang it. Ah, I'm wasting all my balls. But I got an Eevee. I got an Eevee! An Eevee! <gasps> Rapidash? I'm just so happy. That was like one of my first things was like, I want Eevee, I want Eevee. Lo and behold, 
Eevee. And this will be perfect specimen for my dude Buzel, maybe. Come on, turn around. You're coming right towards me. Go Pokeball. Oh, oh well. Ah, got them both. Nice. <gasps> what the fuck? That shit's massive. What level is it? monster. I think it would run me down in a second. Oh no, oh no. You don't see anything. I'm just here because I want to observe you. What level are you? You absolute monster. Get the fuck away from me. Level 40. But okie doke. At least I have it in my goddamn thing now. Oh! Turn away. Turn away, you see nothing. No, no. <laughs> I see absolute monster of a Pokemon, and I'm just like, I have to know. Ah, Bidu. Let's see. I'm gonna beat you up. <laughs> Bidoof was like, but I thought we were friends! There are no friends in war! Kill! Kill him now! Don't let him run away! And plus this will help him master Aqua Jet. Crap, the times are going. New different Pokemon are gonna come out. No, that's an item. Not a Pokemon. That's a Wurmple. And then once I get to, like, uh, the section that I want to, like, start beating up Pokemon. And capturing Pokemon for the Super Duper. Then we'll... I have much more to do. Right now, I want to find new Pokemon to catch and perfect their diddly dees. That's a revive, uh, sink thingy choke. I love that you can just have your Pokemon capture things. I'm just, I'm loving this game so much. It is such a chill game, and yet at the same time, <laughs> you're just going about. Thinking everything's chill. Turn around. Fucking Rapidash monster. Is this just a Buzel? Buzel. What do we need? Um, I can uh, defeat it with um, another electric move to round things out. And that will also help increase our thing to beat. Because you do look on the smaller side. Sorry. I'm sorry, little one. Thundershock. I am a monster, but I shall continue to be a monster. Are uh, you you volunteer for death? <laughs> As Mario LC has just said, water gun, because remember to stay hydrated. 
Remember to stay hydrated four times. Here's the third. And the fourth. Hello there, Mario LC. I am playing this ever lovely game. This lovely, lovely game. Hmm. We can annihilate you. I'm gonna annihilate you. Run in fear, small one, for death comes for ye. Ice Fang! I avoided the goddamn attack. Don't you dare run away. Hell! Oh, it's angry. Good. Let its anger fuel. Now bite it. But just normal bite. Don't add the ice. Yeah, so far, I'm having a load of fun with this game. I am loving it. It is, quite honestly, just a, for whatever reason, the way it's working is just so great. <laughs> Died of cringe due to too much Pokemon. You fool. There cannot be anything. Oh, I'm going to die. Okay, at least I have uh, a second chance. I thought I could swim. The answer was, haha, <laughs> you're an idiot. The balloons are angry! Time to run! When we can uh, sneak up on a balloon, that's when uh, the answer is great. We already perfected your... Well, actually, no, we haven't. What is next that we need? Ah, I think we need uh, Evolve. So I guess we could throw out our Bidoof to... We need to Evolve our Bidoof. Mm. But I also want to catch you. Go, Pokeball! Ah, that actually counted. Neat. Waha. Number cut at night. Do you see a Drifloon in the day? If so, that might be cause for concern. We must gather Africorns. Oh, here's an idea. I can send multiple out. Yes! Efficiency! And running away from the balloons that want to up top me! Because they do want to take me. They want to take me for a ride. Want to take you for a ride. Which way will you face? It will define your fate. But! Okay. Didn't expect that. It just disappeared. I was like, uh huh, yes, it would be mine. It just fucking disappeared. Ah, I only got it from the side. But I got you anyway. <laughs> what? What's that music? It suddenly came on. What does it mean? Mom, hold me. I'm scared. Go, Bidu! He has come to fight me. So I shall fight back. Use bite! Make it cringe! As Mario LC also wants to do. Make it cringe. Make it flinch. Ah, there's a Munchlax over there. Maybe a bit more Driftloon. A bit more Driftloon. <laughs> What? 
Uh, go Bidoof, I guess. Uh, bite. And kill. Kill! Uh, my drift will kill up my drift will. My Bidoof will annihilate you. Does that one want to play too? Kill! So, horde battles are a thing, it seems. Finish off this one. We have potions if we need to, and we can make potions. This one put its life on the line. It decided to interfere in this combat, so it dies of a critical hit. Because I... How are you not taken away by the monstrosities? Woo! Music, it's changing, keeps me out. But uh, I guess we never did find that mushroom and cricket tots, but they might be this way. Hello, my dude. There are many strong Pokemon that make their home on the other side of this bridge. I can't let you pass unless you're a first. Oh, at your rank, you should be fine. Go on then. Don't let your guard down now. Retreat to safety if you find yourself in trouble. My dude, I have run into a le two level 40s on this side of the bridge. Your outfit's cool. Over here. This here is Neon. My, my, a new face in the village. Not that it matters to me if you're new. If you're here, I assume it's, you're prepared to be of help. I am one of the wardens of the Diamond Clan. You may call me Mai. I suppose you might not even know what a warden is if you're new to Hisui. But such talk can wait. Right now, I'd rather we get straight to the point. I have a problem that I need help solving, so that more important question is this. Do you feel confident that you can lead your Pokemon in battle? I do. That's good to hear. That security core of yours certainly wasn't up to the task. This here is my partner, Munchlax. We were raised together like siblings. He battles at my side without needing any silly little balls like you use. Watch and learn. Go, Bidoo! I probably should have... Add a... This probably won't be good. Level 10. I'm gonna go ahead and swap out. Robin! You go! Aerial Ace! Well, that's not good at all. Fixated on using rollout, huh? Fusel! You could probably take that rock attack. Aqua Jet! Still did a lot of damage, though. I have two in a row. So I can win this, maybe. Booyah! I am the Winrar. Man. You really aren't one of the usual galaxy buffoons if you could defeat my partner. Well fought, Munchlax. I'll take care of the Pokemon that battled for us. I love the classic sound effects. And I'll let you have these. You people make all kinds of things if you're crafting, don't you? These should prove to be useful materials. Five Vivichokes, indeed. 
You and your Pokemon fought well together. You're practically acted as one with them. Rather like the legendary hero of old, the one we tell stories of to our children. I think you're indeed the one for the job. You see, I need someone to deal with an alpha Pokemon causing trouble upon Deer Track Heights. It is large, fearsome foe, like any alpha. But you'll come, won't you, to Deer Track Heights? Uh, sorry, God's calling me. My arc phone is beeping. Is that strange thing of <laughs> thing of me of yours telling you where to go? My my, that is some curious sort of map. Is that one of those galaxy team inventions I keep hearing about? It certainly does show the uh seem to show the way to Deer Track Heights up ahead of us. I'll leave this bit to you. You shouldn't have any trouble handling an alpha. I'm gonna be annihilated. It seems you're quite the asset to the Survey Corps, new one. Though, before we continue, I must ask, do you already know the um, about Almighty Sinnoh? Almighty, what now? I suppose that's to be expected. Allow me to sketch out the basics. Almighty Sinnoh steers all time. It's said to have created the very universe using its power over time's flow, and this land of Hisui was born in the process. Is my random theory that this world is literally just the beginning offshoot of Team Galactic's attempt to create a new universe actually going to turn out to be real? Because Sinnoh... Is Sinnoh a different... Or, maybe, Sinnoh is a different word for Dialga? Maybe, maybe. It's by the grace of Almighty Sinnoh that Pokemon can live and thrive here. We of the Diamond Clan are descendants of a people who crossed the sea and settled here in the Hisui region to venerate Almighty Sinnoh. However, it stole away from the world long ago, hiding itself from our sight. Almighty Sinnoh has only been rarely seen by any human, if the old tales are to be trusted. But there are still Pokemon here today in Hisui with a connection to Almighty Sinnoh, and it is the duty of wardens like myself to attend to their needs. The Pokemon that graced Deer Track Heights is one of those honored few. It is directly descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with the Almighty Sinnoh's protection. Follow me and you may understand. And now I'm on the new side. That was a Starly sound, I think. What's that over there? That's a new Pokemon. Oh, it's the Cricketox, I think. The new Metal Gear Solid. Sneak up and beat up. It knows too much. But how will its fate be decided? Break that for me. Hmm. Let's see what's in this tree. A startled burbly. I guess. Augustin. Augustus Gloopin. Well, that was... Of course it's critical hit, but I wanted to capture it. Never mind, that might actually be a super way of just grinding out materials, apparently. I like the size of that one. Change focus. Yes. Continue on your way. Ha <laughs> ha! Your friend is mine. right here. Oh no. Ooh, you 
a big boy. Let's capture them all. Go! I'm just on a on a horde sweep. Alright. This will be a bug type. Let's send out Bidoof. Let's try and capture this one. Struggle bug. I need to move away from battle. Use bite. Bite again. It doesn't like being looked at from behind. Booyah. New Pokemon. Plus one other. Neat. Loving it so far. I love this game. So that's why the trees rumble. Because there's Pokemon in them. Makes sense. Let's see. Nope, nope. I want to craft more Pokeballs, please. Even if we desperately need more Tumblestone. Even though it's supposed to be like hammering, it sounds like applause when you make Pokeballs. You see nothing, little Krikot. And I'm hearing something. Odd noises. That guy has a request of me. Hello, my dude. What is your request? Who oh, there? Might helping a guy out. I'm after some cherry berries, you know, the shiny red ones. They grow on some of the trees around here, but I don't have any Pokemon that can reach them for me. That's where you come in, friend. Throw one of your Pokeballs at a berry tree, and your Pokemon will grab berries for you. Be sure that Pokeball you throw has a Pokemon in mind. It'd be a shame to waste an empty ball. If you hand me three of the cherry berries you get, I'll happily give you a tip. Sure, dude, I have them right here. Can you give me those three? Sure. Hand it over three cherry berry. Thanks. Now then, here's that new tip I was talking about. You can throw a berry near a wild Pokemon to grab their attention and keep them distracted. Why not give it a try on some Krikot over there? Geo, dude, seeing a new Pokemon every single time, I immediately go <gasps> Pokemon. This is must. This is must. Be, what must be? Mu uh, this is what it must be like to be like Ash Ketchum, where I go <gasps> Pokemon. Oh my God, it's a Pokemon. You see nothing? And you know what? What? Go, Buzel! Oh, 
Aqua Jet. Ah, oh, crap, it survived. Yeah, just another one. Beat him up! More Aqua Jack. Oh, no, wrong button. Use strong style to beat him up. And you can already evolve again, my dear boy. Cascoon, evolve! Even though we've hardly used you, this is wonderful. It has like built in experience to share. I love it. I love this. This game is amazing. Booyah! I'm just loving this so much. I'm not gonna fight you, I'm gonna get more resources. Although I might also want to go back. Apparently once we left, nah. You should go to Felan's Cap? Sure. Fast travel. Because maybe I already have a mushroom? I don't know. Let's see what he has to say. You'll need to bring me a springy mushroom. Nope. And I still need to defeat... Given it food. Defeat, give food, and... Uh, evolve. And then it'll... Because its research level is zero. How evil. Ah, because I haven't really done all that much with you. Even though... Oh, it's because I haven't turned them in. That is why. That is the true truth. Let's see. What do we need to do for you again? Hmm. Its research level is nine. Yet I see only seven. Me dumb, I guess. Diddly D. Wait, seven, eight, nine. Maybe, I don't know. But we should be able to finish it off once we actually report our data. Love the music. The music comes in so many different forms, too. Go after the tree, not the Pokemon. You'll never catch me, Shinx! You'll never catch me! I'm too fast! And then give food to one of the Krikots. Here. And then I'll catch you. But I think I also want to beat one of you up. Yo, Krikots! Reveal thyself so I may murder! Try and catch one unawares. 
Bet for revives. Love the music. And that was a big one, too. Which a big boy. This one, not so much. Hello, prick up. Fire thing! Avoided it, bastard! Fire fang it! Don't let it get away! Dear God, you just keep avoiding. Cricketots are masters of avoiding attacks, apparently. What other monsters? What's this Pokemon? No, it's not a Pokemon. It's a, a plant. Some more Cricketots. What was that noise? There are Pokemon I don't think I've discovered that way. Surprise! Beat it up with a fire fang. Yeah, we finally beat one up. <laughs> Hello, abomination that wants to be dead. Okay, goodbye. Yeah, glowing red eyes, abomination Snorlax. Terrifying. Utterly terrifying. You look at the damn thing and it's just like, it wants to eat my entrails. Get out of here. But yeah, that legitimately is scary. Seeing giant Pokemon with glowing red eyes of doom is honestly very creepy. It's a clear sign of, if you do not leave right now, this Pokemon will kill. Maybe not you, but somebody. Is that just, uh... Oh, no. What's his name? Yeah, just what his name's. Come to me, Rocco. You're a violent little boy, aren't you? Annihilate them with a leaf edge. I'm just 
is exploring more. I listen to the sound of monsters. I hear... For a moment, that, that rock over there reminded me of Sharpedo Bluff from Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. And I immediately w- There was, was a shadow. I saw a shadow. I saw a shadow come over the world! I tried to look up, but there was nothing there. Beat him up. Kill him. It has decided violence, and so we will give it violence. Leaf Edge. Ah, crap. It's fixated on it. So show it the error of its ways. Kill! I'm gonna quickly uh, heal up my Pokemon because things look scary. And I uh, will use berries on the rest since they don't need immediate immediate. Granted, I think that's improper use, but we only have so many medicinal plants. So, what's uh, going on over here? Are you gonna try and kill me? Oh, so even your professor decided to join us. Professor? What are you doing? Oh, thank goodness! I got here in time! As a Pokemon researcher, I could hardly miss out on a chance to observe an Alpha, now could I? I suppose that is your business, fine. As long as you stay out of the way. This is Deer Track Heights. This is where we I've long come to pay tribute to a special Pokemon. A Pokemon descended from one of those ancients blessed by the almighty Sinnoh. Oh no. I've... That's not it. That's only a troublemaker here to disturb the peace with its racket. That is actually a disturbing sound here in the night. And that's what you're here for, Neon, to drive that interloper from this place. I'll ensure your Pokemon are ready for the battle. Ah, I wasted my berries. But thank you, Mai. Upon my word, what a large specimen! Little wonder Alpha Pokemon are feared across the land if they're all over as size as this one. Exactly. They're not only big, though. They are strong and may know moves that others of their kind do not. They're not to be trifled with, let me tell you. Nevertheless... I believe you are the strongest still than this stronger still than this alpha. So go show it beyond any mistaking. Be careful, Neon. Size is a potent weapon in and of itself. No doubt this we alpha is a powerful and hardy foe. If you must face it, make sure your Pokemon have some strong moves at their disposal. Alpha Pokemon. Pokemon whose eyes glow red are called Alpha Pokemon. Alpha Pokemon are larger than others, and may know moves that are rare for their species. They appear to be very difficult to catch. Alright. Shinx. I need to get behind it, so I can smack it up from behind. After all, Volo, just like Volo taught me. That's not good. I guess I have to walk up to it. No sneak attacks for me. Go, Shinx! You actually see that. Uh, it's actually a text box. Action speed in battle. Press the Y button during battle to check the action order of all Pokemon currently battling. 
This shows the order in which Pokemon will take their upcoming turns, based on their action speed. The action speed of a Pokemon is based on its speed stat, but it can also be affected by certain moves and items. A Pokemon with a high action speed may be able to act multiple times in a row. That's not good at all. Fire Fang! Agile Style, Thundershock! And Paralyzed! Go! Pokeball, I'll catch you, Cricketune! Darn! Shinx has survived. Was cured of its paralysis? Go, Robin! You have false swipe! What? Oh, yeah, because it's part grass type. False swipe. How the hell it knows Aerial Ace, I'll never know. Hmm. Bidoof, go out there and tank some damage. I'll try and catch you. You're down to your lowest. Jerk. If only I probably should have crafted some heavy balls. Got you. I caught the wild Cricketune. The giant abomination monster. New move for Dustox. You really are an impressive one, aren't you? Seeing someone best in Alpha like that it truly reminds me of the legendary hero of old. We'd best make sure your Pokémon are taken care of after facing off against such a foe. Uh-oh. What in the world?! It is such a magical beastie! It's the Great Weir Deer! I guess because I beat up that Cricketoon, it has decided to be like, hey, thank you for beating up that Cricketoon. He looks upon you with kindness, Neon. Do you want me to catch you too, my man? Hm. I'd say the great Weird Deer has taken a liking to you. That is fortunate. He is an esteemed Pokemon that can dash across the expanses of Hisui while bearing a human on his back. A human he deems worthy, at least. He is a blessing to us all. Remarkable! Truly outstanding stuff, a Pokemon letting someone ride on it. Why, it's just like the ride Pokemon of Alola. Professor, I take it things went smoothly? So Alola exists in this universe, at least. I'm here on Captain Celine's orders. She said we'd be, uh, be able to set up a base camp here once Neon took care of her request. Ah, about that. I know this was a joint decision by Adam and the commander, but still, it is, is it truly fine for us to set up a, more base camps like this? The Hisui region is a land created by Almighty Sinnoh for the sake of its Pokemon. As long as your goal is to coexist and thrive together with the Pokemon, then I imagine you should be also allowed to use this land. The Great Weird Deer has taken a liking to Neon as well. This is a good sign. You have my thanks for what you did today. Our clan leader will hear of how you aided us. I'll come show my appreciation with a proper reward as soon as I can. Booyah! And I got a wild Pokemon of craziness. Well, if we're to coexist and thrive with Pokemon, we'll need to know them better. And the first step for toward that is completing that Pokedex. The construction core should be here soon. We'll have our new base camp pitched in no time. I'm loving this. Utterly fantastic stuff. Here we have it, our new base camp upon Deer Track Heights. I'll call it the Heights Camp. 
From now on, when you set out from the village, you can ask to be escorted to this base camp to start your excursions directly from here. Having more base camps ought to make our survey work easier, huh? Well, that's it. How about we head to the Wallflower like usual? Twenty-five, twenty or more caught in one report. Different Pokemon species, ten. Pokemon caught for the first time, six. Pokemon caught using a backstrike. And alpha Pokemon caught. I got so much money. Mwahaha. Like sap and is abundant in the wild. Why it evolves into various different forms is unknown. One cannot tell from a Wurmple's appearance which form it will take when it evolves. I cannot see the difference. So I basically need to capture an Alpha Buzel for that guy. What an asshole. Uh, balloon Pokemon. Sea Weasel. And I already completed Cricket Tune. And with this one, I went in and beat him up. Nice. Eight completed Pokemon. Motions and cries. Awesome. Species newly registered or updated. Gaze upon my glory. I go out to... I just go out and I dominate the land of Hisui. The Hisui land is mine. Video chum, the usual potato mochi, please. And make it for three today as well. This is the best... This is the best mainline Pokemon game I've ever played. Have you all heard the great news? That frenzied cleaver from the rumors ended up mauling some of our galaxy folks who went out to investigate it this morning. The medical corps has had a hard time getting all the injured back on their feet. Oh, this is the cleaver that was reportedly struck by powerful lightning, yes. I did hear he's been behaving most erratically since then. Still, if further investigation is in order, the survey corps will, of course, step up to the task. A certain amount of danger is inevitable when researching unfamiliar Pokemon. But I'm sure Neon here can handle things just fine. But that Cleaver is said to be much, much stronger than even Alpha Pokemon, isn't he? Now, now, you forget the strengths of Pokemon are key items of information that we of the Civicor are duty-bound to research. And since this perilous work of ours calls for a clear head and fighting fit physique, I do believe a good night's sleep is in order after this fine meal. Om nom nom, eat all the food. Om nom nom. Eat all the food. The next day. Rise and shine, Neon! The boss wants you! Commando, that is. Get yourself to the commander's office. Also, neat detail is that your shoes get put on when you leave the area. Let's see. Extremely spicy, but also highly nutritious. Is used as material for crafting items that can restore PP to Pokemon or boost their stats. Move all at once. Uh, you move all at once. Ooh, a wild Pokemon will become easier if it eats this. This stores HP by a third. So, definitely want that. To draw their attention. Carrots burn. This will probably be used for burn heal. So I don't know. I guess I'll put that away for paralysis. Grit dust, I'll move that away. I need to upgrade my satchel. I want a bigger satchel, damn it! Did you get a good rest? Look who's being punctual! Finally realize you're wasting Almighty Sinnoh's precious time by bestowing a sham! 
Who are these two Nimrods? Who's who? There you go again, insisting on your false image of Almighty Sinnoh as a ruler of time. My people follow the true Almighty Sinnoh, the front of all creation and ruler of space. Palkia. Ha! You could have all the space there is and still not know what to do with it! <gasps> Excuse me, are you really suggesting that you make better use of your time than we make use of vast Hasui's space? Better than some! It's a miracle you showed up on time! Oh, mighty leader of Pearl Clan! I'd worried you'd get lost in the pointless and fast space you're so fond of and never show up! Me get lost in Almighty Sinnoh's great gift to the Pearl Clan and our world's very basis? You wish. I wish that I hadn't let myself get dragged into arguing with you. Almighty Sinnoh, forgive me. What a waste of time. I'm off to Commander Kamado's office. I believe it was you who started this. I think so. <laughs> Just another day of those two, I see. The man's named Adamant. He's the leader of the Diamond Clan. They put a lot of importance on time, as you could probably tell. And the girl is Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. They're all about space. You heard what she called it, right? Our world's very basis. I want Giratina! To the reverse world with all of you! Would you like to hear the word of our great and mighty powerful Giratina? Whenever they run into each other, those same arguments flare up. It seems like they've inherited some bad blood from their predecessor, Strife. Oh well, not our problem. It's gonna be our problem. But you'll have problems if you don't get yourself to the commander's office. I live in a world of problems, my dude. I don't even live here. I fell from time and space. Any new missions? Yep, no, one back here. Oh, and one by the farm. I'm gonna send them all to the farm. <laughs> Hello, person. What is it you require? All right, if a Pokemon starts eyeing me, I'll fling an Ornberry, then run while it's distracted. If I just stick to the plan, I'll be fine. Oh, Survey Corps girl. I was just headed out to the field lands to go gather some tumble stones. I haven't got as many Ornberries as I'd like. Are you familiar with Ornberries? They heal the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon teams. They restore some HP to Pokemon that eat them. Eh, so as you might imagine, Pokemon tend to be very interested in them. You see where I'm going with this? Throwing Ornberries is a great way to distract and avoid wild Pokemon. They're indispensable. With that in mind, could I trouble you to gather five Ornberries for me? Sure, my dude. Oh, oh, right here. Sure you go, my man. And it over five. I gratefully accept. Gosh, I can't believe you went to the trouble finding these just for me. Happy to help. Thank you. Got you nice for someone who fell out of the sky. Let's just tuck these away in my satchel. I won't let your kindness go to waste. Wish me luck with those tumble stones. Three revives, dude. Thank you. I think... There, my, my pastures are gonna get filled the fuck up. Hmm. I still need to evolve Bidoof, so I'll keep him around. I think I'll put away Dustox. Maybe take Cricketoon? Because he's absolutely monstrous. He's an alpha Pokemon. Check summary. Frickin' eight feet tall. Change markings? Oh, I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting that, 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 that that's what it is. It also knows false swipe. Nice, and it's a bug type. Absorb, tackle, aerial ace, false swipe. I think I'll take you with me, my boy. And since I already have a bird, I'll keep Starly with me to level up, but I want Eevee. I want Eevee. Eevee was going to come with me, and I'm going to level up, but I'm just going to make a fairy. I'm going to make a fairy out of this Eevee! Ah! Oh! Hmm. Never mind. Sorry, Cricketoon. Eevee comes first. Eevee always comes first! And now we'll go to the... We can actually see my Pokemon in there! At least some of them! 
Hi, boy. I love it. I want all future Pokemon games to take from this. I love this. This is absolutely amazing. Absolutely fantastic. Oh. Hello. Hey, great time here. Done gathering the harvest. Afraid we didn't grow as much as we hoped, but we'll work hard to bumper crop next time. Two medical leaks. A pep up plant. A vivitroke. Bugbur plume. Bunch of king's leaf. King's leaf. The king of herbs, glittering and brilliant, combining this herb with other materials needed to make medicines will boost their efficacy. Make more medicinal plants, will ya? I got the money to spare. What is it you require, man over here? Listen here, Survey Corpse Kid. I saw the darndest thing. I was scouring the heartwood for crops we could grow in the fields here when I saw it. This Pokemon called Cherim changed its appearance before my very eyes. It was the evening, the light was getting dim. All of a sudden, Cherim's petals closed right up so it looked like nothing but a flower bud. Wow, I thought, I just witnessed the miracle of evolution. But the next morning, when I went to check in on that Cherim, it was right back in full bloom. But why would it bloom just to close back up? Is that how evolution works? Or was the change I saw something different? When you finish Cherub's Pokedex entry, let me have a look, would ya? Sure thing, my dude. I don't think I've run into a Cherub. <laughs> oh, this is awesome. It's like yeah, I can look over. I love it. I love it. This game is amazing. Ah, oh, it's so good. I can make heavy balls, too. A ball that is too heavy to fly far, but is highly effective if you manage to hit an unsuspecting Pokemon. I'll make a bunch of them. I have six. Let me make a few more. Hi, my dude. How's your worm pole working out? Looks like you got some skills, kid. Good thing, too. It's dangerous outside the village. I'm gonna go back and put some more stuff away. Because I'm paranoid. I don't want to run out of room. Let's see. Move to storage. Move all. Move all. You know, since this is... I'll move all that, too. I'll keep that for... Just general diddly. There we go. We'll go talk to the captain, and then we'll head up for the meeting, because I'm gonna get my second star. I'm a magical person. I literally have the god phone. It's like that stupid isekai where a guy falls into a world but his phone is magic. If you have the progress to report, I will judge its worthiness. Show me your Pokedex. I've got a bunch of shit. Ain't it magical? Hmm, you have made progress. It seems you have earned yourself a star. Hell yeah. It's only gonna get harder from here. With this, you have officially attained the rank of second star on the Galaxy Expedition team. You can now use Feather Balls. A Pokemon up to level 30 will also obey your orders reliably. The rewards you earn for survey reports will be generous too. Have these as well. They are further recipes you'll need for crafting. Feather Balls! A recipe for crafting feather balls from scratch required apricorn and sky tumblestone. You obtain for super potions and pop-up plant. Continue to dedicate yourself to completing the Pokedex if you hope to rise further in the lank <laughs> further in the lanks. There are some requests posted on the blackboard. Which one will you check? Bothersome Bidoof! It seems that a band of bothersome Bidoof keeps sneaking into the village and causing trouble. Talk to Sumugi from the security corps and see if you can help set things in order. There's some requests posted. I'll check. Playing with Drifloon. 
It seems several people have spotted a Driftloom playing with one of the village children. Is this the beginning of that that legend? Miki from the security court can tell you more. Speak of her and get to the bottom of this. There are no more requests. You know I expect great things of you. Carry on the good fight out there. What the hell is this thing? It's hard to guess what it's supposed to do, but it certainly does look impressive. Hello, he's a boy. Oh, Oshawott's there too, and this is where uh, um, Rowlet would be if I didn't abscond with it like a fiend. Oh, I'm inside the base. Can I... No. I wanted to look, see if I could look inside for any missions that might be here. Hello, dude. You should craft your own potions. If you've been attacked by Pokemon, you'll always come back to rest. I like this place. I'm gonna go down to the basement. You can't tell me what to do. Hello, old dude. If you're short on items, craft more yourself! If you want to craft new items, collect recipes! Oh, trusty satchel is a must if you want to gather a lot of materials for crafting. You should uh, speak to Baggin. He'll teach you how to pack even more to that satchel of yours. Who's Baggin? Is he from Baggin? Will I finally get to talk with the Bilbo? So I need to talk to Baggin, but I don't know where Baggin is. Wait, I forget. I can run! Gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. Gotta go faster, 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 faster. Wah, wah. Running at the speed of sound. It's just a fan truck around. Got ourselves a situation. Lost in a new location without any D D D D. Oh, splendid. You came along at a good time. I'm looking for a pickling stone. See? Would you mind lending me a hand? It needs to be the right size to fit atop one of my pickle pots and heavy enough to put a nice firm pressure on the pickles while they're fermenting. Hmm making alcohol, I see. But I suppose it'll be hard for me to lift such a heavy thing from the pot. The best thing would be for the stone to lift itself, actually. Oh, I've got a rather good idea. There's a Pokemon called Geodude that lives in Deer Track Heights. It'll be perfect for the job. Could you catch one and bring it back to me? I'll head home and wait for you there. I have a decent amount of Geodudes, so I guess I'll have to... Well, I thought I had a decent amount. I have two. I guess that works. Pokemon are full of mysteries. I hope you can solve them for us. What do you do hiding in this corner, my dude? Get new Pokemon to help with our manual work? No way, that's crazy talk. Yet that lady wants a Geodude to lift a pot! <laughs> Maybe we ought to build some spare lodgings in case anyone else falls out of the sky. Now, God damn it! Now I have a a fanfic idea. Ash and crew fall from the sky and have to help with all this. Brain, why must you give me ideas? What do you intend to do about that cleaver, Commander Commando? He may be descended from a warrior of Almighty Sinnoh, but look at the mess he's causing. We can't sit back and let him rage on. You do get right to the point, Adaman. Time wasted is lost. Well, tell me, what would you have us do? Cleaver is a precious lord of the Pearl Clan, is he not? That's the point. My clan can't intervene directly. We're a lord of the Pearl Clan's concerned. If my people were to do something, our two clans might end up back at each other's throats, just like we used to be. But even folk of the Galaxy team have been wounded, haven't they? Seems that someone's got to do something. Who then? Will the Diamond Clan have the Pearl Clan bring down one of its own honorable nobles? I don't believe I said that. Thought it, maybe. You might as well have said it, you fool. Look, we don't even know what drove Lord Cleaver into such a violent frenzy. I'd like to know that myself. This is a first as far as my clan knows, too. I see you've arrived. 
This is Neon, the newest member of our Survey Corps. Aha, I hear from May you earned Weirdeer's favor. Good to finally meet you, stranger from the Rift. I am Adamant, leader of the Diamond Clan, if you want to be formal. Well, that's a mouthful. Just call me Adamant. If you came from beyond the space-time rift, could you be from the space where Almighty Sinnoh is said to reside? I'm Irida, leader of the Pearl Clan. Caution and foresight are my watchwords, which is why I have trouble believing such a tale. Could you really have passed through that rift? I have a proposition. Why not send this one to study Cleaver before deciding what must be done? You'd send this stranger who'd supposedly fell from the rift to study Cleaver? This newcomer with no experience? Says the leader with almost no experience. Being a good leader isn't a matter of time. It's a matter of embracing Hisui's vastness without fear. It is about time. Time brings experience. Well then, then there you have it. If how new you are doesn't matter, then let's give the kid her chance. I'm sold, Commander. Let's try this your way. Adamant just tricked Irida directly. I love it. This should be fun. I'll get to see how good you galaxy folk really are with all your weird ways putting Pokemon in those strange balls and what have you. The whole practice bothers me. Almighty Sinnoh made Hisui vast so Pokemon could live freely throughout. We're meant to stand alongside Pokemon, not count ourselves above them. We do not use Pokeballs from a desire to control our Pokemon. Only so that we can live together. Allow us to show you what we can do. This is your mission now, Neon. I order you to study Cleaver and help us find the truth of this situation. I accept. Remember that you are a stranger who appeared one day out of the very sky above us. People are naturally suspicious of your presence here. If you wish to be fully accepted and trusted, you must work hard. Work yourself to the very bone. Whoop whoop. Well, that's settled. And there's no time like the present. The Lord of the Woods Cleaver is descended from a Pokemon that was blessed with Almighty Sinnoh's own power. No other Pokemon you've yet encountered can compare to his strength, be warned. Listen to me. The Galaxy Expedition Team has come to the Sui region as a group of outsiders. Some might even call us interlopers. We mustn't do anything to threaten our relations with the Diamond and Pearl clans, understand? Join me downstairs, Neon. We'll cover the details of this new mission. She came out of nowhere. She's a demon. <laughs> Can I move? Organize, satchel. Okay, that works. Not exactly what I expected, but sure. And I still need to find Baggin. Where's Baggin? From Bag End. I have arrived for my mission. Ah, good. You are already here. Professor Lavington, the briefing, if you please. Yes, let's get right to it. So, Neon. I understand you've been requested to find out the cause of Cleaver's frenzied state. But as you're aware by now, Cleaver is a mighty thing. Nigh invincible, even. The Security Corps tried throwing Pokeballs at Cleaver when they were attacked, but I'm afraid they didn't even come close to catching him. It seems he's far trickier opponent than even those aggressive species of Pokemon that cannot be caught outside of battle once they're riled. I'd like to be perfectly clear on this point. This mission will put you in extreme danger. Do you believe you can handle it? Of course. It is my mission, then I take it seriously. Very well. Then let us go over the particulars. The Diamond and Pearl revere their nobles because they believe these Pokémon serve their almighty Sinnoh. They leave offerings to express their gratitude to these Pokémon in locations they call the Noble Seats. So perhaps a good starting point for our research could be to find what sorts of offerings they normally leave for this cleaver. Neon! We need to speak with you! Why did Adamant have the, the animation? Listen, that rift in space-time seems like it connects this world to a whole other world. This world might be where Almighty Sinnoh itself resides. Oh, that world. 
the true almighty Sinnoh, that is. The one that rules over time. So if you fell through the space-time rift, that might mean you traveled through time by almighty Sinnoh's own power. Think of it! You must have been swimming in its divine might. Well, I've got a favor to ask of you, oh, amazing time traveler. Don't just study Cleaver. Quell his fury. Well, you certainly caught us at a good time, young Adamin. We were just discussing our next steps with regard to this whole Cleaver situation. Oh, you must be the Galaxy Team Scholar I've heard about. Good to meet you, Mr. Professor. Share some of that knowledge with me sometime. Now let me elaborate a little. Those Pearl Clan types have a lot of respect for Cleaver. You heard his title, Lord of the Woods. I'm sure they'd rather get this under control too, but it's hard for them to come right out and ask those Galaxy Team folk of all people for help. And the truth is, we in the Diamond Clan have a similar problem on our hands. A Pokemon dear to us off in the mountains has flown into the same type of frenzy as Cleaver. Now, there's certainly bad blood between us and the Pearl Clan, but still, we've all got to share Hisui. And that means we ought to tackle our problems together. But there aren't many people capable of standing up to such powerful Pokemon. You're the best hope we've got. You'll find Cleaver at Grantry Arena. That's in the very heart of Heartwood. His warden is a boy named Liam. Liam is a brilliant child, but also a bit, well, sometimes brilliance can be blinding, you know. He'll tell you all about his beloved Cleaver, whether you wish him to or not. Anyway, I'm sure you're up to the challenge, so we'll be counting on you. See you later. I love Adamant. Adamant is a wonderful boy. Adamant is a wonderful boy. Wow, he just said his piece and then vanished. He just must value his time that much, I guess. Adamant and Mai weren't wrong, you know. If they ought to study and perhaps even quell Cleaver, you'd best start by visiting his abode. Now that we've got the Heights Camp, it should come in handy for getting to Grand Tree Arena. And don't forget to visit the pastures. Choosing your Pokemon team carefully makes a difference. Oh, we need to go take a picture of our Pokemon. We're gonna take a picture of our Pokemon. I forgot this isn't <laughs> this isn't Kingdom Hearts. You can't just leave. Find yourself unable to pick up the materials you come across. Satchel always seeming fool. If that sounds like you, it'd be wise to lend me your ear a moment and hear what I have to say. Oh, you're bagging. You just look like a dude. Who wouldn't like more space in their satchel? Are you a, a pearl clanner? You can carry around even more in that, that satchel of yours if you learn the trick to packing things in. I can teach you if you'd like. What do you say? Teach me! I like your initiative. My teaching fee is 100. Sure. Perfect. Lend me your ear a moment. You made space to keep one more kind of item. Ah, uh, only one more? And that's all there is to it. You see how much more you can fit in by packing things rightly? If you want to be able to carry even more things, there's more I could teach you. What do you say? Teach me! Hell yeah! Perfect. Lend me your ear. More space. Yes. I love this. More! <laughs> more! Yes! More! <laughs> more! It's like that Star Wars clip of Diddly Do Guy. More! <laughs> There's actually a decent amount of things worthy of my money. One more. I love this. Uh, maybe later. There, time, a single extra time can mean the difference between life and death, you know. Yeah, but I only have so much money, dude. Look how much more items I can carry. <laughs> items are mountains! Why are you highlighted? You there. You seem like someone who enjoys a bit of crafting. Do you think you could help me with something? I'd be very, very grateful if you tried to craft something using a special recipe I came up with. Why'd you say it so loud? So without further ado, here's the recipe. Pokishi doll. Three logs of wood. I need wood! 
I need wool! I invented them, you see, as a special item that we can make in this village. I would love to have you craft one and show it to me. I'm looking forward to seeing how you come up with it. I need wood! Wood! I'll take a springy mushroom for that guy. I need to find more wood. I need to find more wood. I need to find more wood. Let me take a look at my team. Evie, Buzel, let's uh, rename some. You will be renamed to... What will your name be? You will be called Blitz. Hmm. And you? Well, there's only one name for you. I'm gonna find a fucking Trico. Team Shining will be made here! I don't care if I have a Rowlet! I'll have the ultimate team! I'm gonna go take a picture of my Pokemon. Well, let's see. Anything, uh, new? New styles in stock. Woo woo! Uh, yeah, I can't wear my current style of clothing. Just a bunch of everyday kimonos and fancy kimono. Do you have any shoes that aren't sandals? Monos, no shirts. I can't even look at what these ones look like. Well, let's see. Fancy Bottoms Rowlet. That amuses me. Take this everyday kimono. Sure. Now let's take a look. I need to take off this hat to be able to look at anything else from the looks of it. So I want to look at the other things. That'll be it for now. I need to change, apparently. <gasps> or is it because of my hairstyle? Is it my hairstyle? It might be my hairstyle. It might not actually be a hat thing. So yeah, I do need a different hairstyle to... I can only assume. Darn. I want a new hat. So that means changing my hair. I don't want to do that. Profound sadness, Billy. But now let's go take a picture of our Pokemon. Awesome. This place seems bigger on the inside, you know. I'm in the business of photographing folk with their Pokemon. Why not have your Pokemon photo taken?
over the shoulder. I like that one. Love the expressions in this game, too. <laughs> Vacant. Ah, <laughs> you can take photos with there. Press the capture button to take the photo. That amuses me. Does they want to bring out my Pokemon? I can't bring out my Pokemon! Well, that's the point. That's the point, my dude. You're worthless to me! Although I can't wait to see what people can do with that system. Those darn Bidoof. I hear you caught three different species of Pokemon in your trial. That's no mean feat. I have a job that's perfect for a high achiever like you. See, I need help researching. Ah, get those pesky Bidoof again! I look away for one second and the little scoundrels waltz right into the village. Ooh, this is awful. I am a complete failure as a member of the security corps. How can I face Captain Zizu like this? No, get a hold of yourself, Sumugi. Just catch the Bidoof and everything will be fine. Still, three Bidoof is a lot. Two more than I think I could handle on my own, in fact. Oh, I have an idea. I've heard that these particular pests get easily distracted from other Bidoof are nearby and end up li letting their guard down around humans. If you bring a Bidoof to draw their attention, I can seize the chance to catch their little troublemakers. Voila! The perfect plan. If we combine forces, we'll get all three caught in no time at all. Alright, let's search for the Bidoof. We'll have to wander around town, I guess. Here, yeah, little munchkins. Here, yeah, little bastards. I'm here to play a game. Do you want to play a game? Help, I've been trapped behind your homes. What? Ah, chomp chomp. Hello, friend. I'm no friend of yours. Got it. Great going, team. And by team, you mean me. Me alone. Home alone. I heard you. I think. I hear a Pokemon. <laughs> uh, I can't parkour. Hello, Miki. If you said my request to look into that Drifloon, I can't tell you what a big help that is. Let me fill you in. We'd heard reports that Drifloon was playing with one of the village children over the Prelude Beach in the evenings. This seemed a little odd behavior for a Pokemon, so all of us in the Security Corps were worried its true intentions were to harm the child in some way. Thankfully, all the village children were safe and accounted for when we went to check on them, but there was one curious thing. None of them seemed to know anything about a Drifloon. But, well, so many people from the village have reported seeing the Pokemon, we can't simply pretend there isn't an issue. Since this calls for some investigation, I thought the Survey Corps would be our best bet. We need to find out the truth behind the Drifloon and the child that's been playing with. Ah, uh, there you are, you little bastard. Get over here, I'm gonna kill you. Quit eating the fence. Here's a friend, except it's not a friend. It's here to betray you. Bidoof gets caught. Traitor! Traitor! Speaking of Star Wars and that one guy. His name is one guy, you know. That one guy. Nobody knows his real name. It's really odd choice by the by the writers to not give one of the main characters a name. He 
It's just that guy. Granted, isn't that basically the entire basis of a character from Guilty Gear? <laughs> that man! I make a joke and I end up with a Guilty Gear character. Such is life, I guess. <laughs> Maybe that should be a new, like, uh, Seven Degrees of Kevin Bacon. It's like Seven Degrees of a Guilty Gear character. <laughs> Axes exist in this world, which means the Shining can be canon. Except then the Out Overlook Hotel would become a Pokemon. And I don't know how to feel about that. <laughs> Where's the last bastard? Where's the final bastard? Have a bath. Ah, I actually does swim. Come back to me. Little disappointed that it's not red like in the anime. The olden days of the anime. Where's the last little bastard? Are you building a new home? Rather impressive that you can get so close to Pokemon while they're firing attacks at you. Oh, I bet you're skilled at dodging. I have yet to dodge a single attack, actually. Please don't kill me. There's only one more goddamn bit of. Where the hell is it? What if I just throw my Pokemon at people? Also, I just realized that my Pokemon are better swimmers than I am. Where is the final bastard? Okay, because there's one over here, maybe further out? This way, maybe? <laughs> Do you have anything to say? Here at the seaside gate, sure, it is pretty safe. No wild Pokemon around here, after all. Well, I want to explore out here anyway. The practice field. No Pokemon out here, you say. Yet I hear Pokemon. Who even lives at this shack? Why is there a shack? Why is there a rowboat? Can I go to new worlds? Nope. I wonder if there'll be a way to climb up cliffs in the future through the game. Well, uh, hopefully it'll become nighttime by the time I find this third frickin' bidoof. that their noises are not happy, man. I do not like noise. Hello, Buzel. You may very well be replaced if I find a bigger one. I could have, like, my Pokemon out and just have them follow me. Come along, Bidoof. 
No, it just stands there. But where is that final Bidu? Maybe the trick is to actually talk to her again. What if I pass my own Bidoof off as a Bidoof? Because the first one I just stumbled upon, the second one was over here. I guess maybe it is by... Because it kind of makes sense, maybe. Wait, do you have something to say? Nope. Because one was over here. Another one was by the pasture. So you'd think that the other one would be over here, then. Almost. Nope, invisible wall. Can't even climb your way up there. And I think I looked all around here for the Bidoof. And now I realize the true horror. This game is so new, nobody will have a guide to where that final bit of fucking is. Nightmare, nightmare, nightmare. Nightmare on Nightmare Street. Freddy Krueger kills himself in a dream. Don't tell me it's in the building. Oh, there you are, you little... Hiding in the shadows, are you? Come out into the light, brother. Cop the little bastard. And there you go. All have been caught. Nice work. That puts these little troublemakers safely in our custody. Now to give them the old heave-ho. Hold on! It'd be a shame to just send those Bidoof back into the wild, no. My construction corps could find a use for them. Huh? You want to keep them? But these naughty nibblers have caused so much trouble for the construction corps. They're just Pokemon being Pokemon. How are they supposed to know our village is a strict no-chewing zone? Shows good taste on their part to all come way here to gnaw on our woodwork, too. But if they're going to stay here, they'll have to help with our work. But they've got guts to keep trying to get into the village, plus the teeth to gnash through trees and rocks, just what our core needs. How about it, little ones? Meals taste better after a day's work, you know. <coughs> Adorable. Just what I wanted to hear. Hmm, I'm not convinced this lot have it in them to do an honest day's work. But if Sanqua's watching over them, I'm sure maybe it'll work out. So I guess that's settled. Thanks again for the help, your help. I got a rare candy. How are things, my good friend? I certainly hope you're putting that secret backstrike technique I taught you to good use. Either way, I have some super potions here just for you. Oh, think nothing of it. Having the Survey Corps out and about studying Pokemon is great for business, you know. Supporting you now is actually an investment in my own fortunes. I like him, but he also kind of creeps me out. <laughs> A topical medicine. Meant to be applied to Pokemon. It can be used to restore 100 HP to a single Pokemon. And now I must depart. There are ruins that are just calling to me. Hmm. Let's see if I can make it nighttime and go after that Drifloon on the beach. Drifloon on the beach. Doo -doo 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 -doo. How long would you like to rest? Until evening. God, I love this game. This game, I love it. I love it, Cam. We must venture out to the beach. 
<laughs> I'm just now reminded, because I've been once more, ever more, out of people. You're not scared of Pokemon? I am Pokemon. <laughs> Good luck with that. But... As I was going to say, I've once more caught up in just reading TV Tropes pages, because, you know, what else am I going to do with my life? And uh, I've been reading the Beast Wars Transformer page, and <laughs> apparently, one of the... An early draft episode would have been two of the female characters from the Predacons and the Maximals leaving to make their own all-female team. And the name, at least at the start, was Bitch Wars. And it's just like, how, do, how would you even go about making that as a prototype name? My dudes. Why? It's not even that clever a pun. What am I doing? I can probably just go back to my bed. Nope. Uh, but I can fast travel here. Fine, I'll wait until it's actually night time. Night time. Yeah, this is utterly fantastic. Just utterly, utterly, utterly fantastic. <laughs> it really does kind of take the main idea of Pokemon, catching Pokemon, and really puts it out at the forefront. I know that people might want more battle overall. Hello, dude. With your giant jug. But personally, I quite enjoy the amount of battle that there's been. It just seems to be less random trainer battles. You can still seek out enemies. Kind of wish I could have my Pokemon run alongside me, though. There are Pokemon nearby, I swear. Hmm. Where are you? Playing with Drifloon. Ah, I could have just teleported here. Let's see. In the evening. So did I just come at the wrong time again? Can I tell what time it is? Hmm. The sound of Pokemon worry me. Also, it doesn't really feel like night. It's quite bright. Let's go, Pokeball! Hello, my boy. Come walk with me. Hello, other person. I can't get a good night's sleep like this. Why? Don't scare me like that. Something wrong? No, no, everything's fine. Whatever you need. Come back later, all right? Are you all right? <laughs> Maybe a survey core type like you would figure things out what's causing this. Look, when I'm in my quarters trying to sleep at night, it feels 
It feels like I'm not alone in there. Sometimes there's this kind of crackling sound. I found burnt berries a couple of times. Once in a while, I hear some ch clatter. So survey court kid, go survey my quarters. Figure out what's happening. Just do it at night, would you? I've got to be at work all during the day. Ready to investigate my place? Sure. I swear there's something in there. Check every nook and cranny for me, okay? Time to venture. If it went full first person mode, that would have been funny. A cloth has been pulled to one side. And is that a hair on the hem? A short black hair. It's a full rolled up architectural plan. There's a sketch of a Magikarp too. Perhaps it's one of the plans for the Galaxy Hall. It's full of neatly folded uniforms. Investigate the cabinet. The closet door is open just a crack. Do you want to peek inside? I take a peek. There's some weird clothes and a cape inside. What? Weird. There's a faint smell. It's like berries had been present here. There was a noise from the entryway. A friggin' cape? Doesn't seem you've solved the mystery yet. Need a break or something? Not yet. What? You heard something from beneath the cloth. Draw it back. Crackle, crackle. You saw sparks fly for a moment. Seems like something ran by you. There was a noise back from the closets. Pichu? Survey Corps kid, are you alright? I heard the strange noise. There's a Pichu hiding in here. Wait a minute. This Pichu? Could it be? It might sound absurd, but I think this might be a Pichu I found injured in the forest a while back. A berry? For me? Well, because I fixed you up? Choo! Wait, so this thing haunting my quarters is just a grateful little Pichu? Guess all that worrying was pointless. The thing I was afraid of is some spine-chilling thing. But what was with the cape in the closet? Regardless, I owe you. I have a token of my gratitude. But what was with the cape in the closet? What? It feels like we've missed out on part of a mystery. I'm going to check out the beach one more time and then, I guess, wait on the evening try again. Because it did say it wanted, and this is nighttime, not evening, I think. Ah, humbug. In the evening. In the even on. But hey, neat that I just came across another little thing to do. Wait, I, I went by my... Completely walked by my home. Until evening. And then I just need to be patient and wait for it. A 
so far, really enjoying this game. It feels very different from other Pokemon games and just, it seems like a lot of fun. Maybe a bit more battling with the new uh, agile and heavy system, but maybe more battles come later. And like an option to do more battling will pop up. Maybe, maybe. <laughs> All right, let's take a look. Maybe I just didn't go around the shack. Oh, now it wants me to wait at the shack, maybe. Survey Corps lady, over here. I um, I want to go home now, but Drifloon won't let me go. <laughs> Can you help me, please? Can do. I will fight you, Drifloon. Gurp. Yay, now I can finally go home. But hey, um, Drifloon didn't mean to be bad. It always played together with me. It's real friendly, so I kept it a secret from everyone. Oh, my name's Taki. See you around, Survey Corps lady. Obviously, you just need to lift weights. Until you can drag around Drifloon. Dodge! My crouch walk challenge. I like that you can go straight from crouch into a run. Marvelous. Marvel. Marvel House. I see you've been looking into the worrisome Drifloom for us. What have you found out? You just wanted to play. I see. So little Tucky was trying to keep Drifloom from getting in trouble. All the same, he was in considerable danger. Without your help, goodness knows where Drifloom would have taken him by now. I'd be remiss if I didn't follow up on this troubling incident. I'll urge Captain Zizu to post extra security corps guards out on Prelude Beach at once. For now, I'm thankful for the situation was resolved without any harm. Thank you, truly, for helping us keep everyone safe. Finally, we finished up doing stuff in this place. We can finally go adventure out again. Level up Eevee. But first, I'm going to go put away some items that will be hogging my deadly day. Like Stardust. Can be sold for, ah. Uh, I keep forgetting that that's a sell. Nana Berry. Restore HP. Will be calmed if it eats one of these berries. And there's seven of them. Can any of this pack of energy when consumed? It will instantly raise the level of Pokemon by one. I'm going to save that for maybe later. So that when we have high level Pokemon. Mwaha. I'll head back to this camp. Or... Ah, there we go. That's how the camps work. Woot woot. I think I got the Cricketune for you. You've completed Cricketot's Pokedex page. Great, quickly now. Let me have a look. Ah, so Cricketot produced that curious sound of theirs hitting their antenna together. I wonder if Anvin from the Supply Corps could put together an instrument with a similar sharp shape to those antenna. Well, for now, thanks for going out of your way to solve this tonal enigma. Here, take these. 
complete a Pokemon's page in your Pokedex, you need to catch and battle that species over and over, right? Gosh, you're such a hard worker. Ah, now that's a nice springy mushroom if I ever did see one. I'm glad I chose you for my request. You've got what it takes to f be a fine mushroom forager. I bought it. By the by, did you know that springy mushrooms like this one multiply in no time? That's why you'll find them all over the obsidian filed lands. And they're versatile too. Fry them, stew them. They'll taste great either way. But I digress. Let's get to teaching you my recipe. I'll just use the handy workbench over there. And here you have it, the delectable mushroom cake, beloved by Pokemon far and wide. Just throw one at a wild Pokemon and it's partial to a nice mushroom snack. You can bet your bottom toadstool it'll go after the cake lure. You can use that opening to make your getaway, or of course, try to catch the Pokemon. Here, I'll give you some of my own cake lure bases so you can get crafting right away. Five bases. A type of field provision that enhances the flavor of other foods it's mixed with. Now get out there and throw a generous, no, gratuitous number of mushroom cakes to lurk Pokemon left and right and center, you hear? I'm counting on you to make my recipe famous. Now I just have to know. Can I see the recipe? Is there anywhere where the recipe might be? Maybe if we have to actually go. Let's see, craft. Let's see. Mushroom cake. A cake made by combining mushrooms of cake lure. These cakes are potentially effective at attracting the most monstrous Pokemon, as well as dragon Pokemon. What the hell? That bastard invented shit? A ball that flies fast and true. Ideal for catching nimble Pokemon or Pokemon that fly high in the air. I want that. Now uh, you're already completed. Provisions! Provisions, my friends! And you're completed as well, so I don't really care. I should have Eevee doing the grabbing. I'll wander around, maybe look for more Eevees, and then ha have a freaking team of Eevees. A team teaming of Eevees. I was slightly disappointed that it doesn't make the Evoi sound. God, I love this game already. Fast, Eevee. Level up fast. Yes. Level up by doing kind of menial tasks for me. This is just a quick way to power level Pokemon in a way. Number defeated. Heavy special is caught with a water move. Times you've seen it used ember. Times you've given it food. Hmm. What? Hello? Have food. Hello. Beat him up. We have to beat it with a water move. Ah, oh, come on.
Don't you matter a bit. Get startled. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Mark what jet. Blow it away. Well, we have to defeat it with a water move, so beat him up even more. I forgot you exist! Goodbye! I completely forgot that monster exists and I am not at a good level to fight it. I'm just incapable of fighting that abomination right now. I need a substantially bigger Buzil. Maybe over there I can find a substantially bigger Buzil, so that means going way around. I wonder why that's sparkling. Well, I guess we'll have to see. Catch me, I am too fast for you. <laughs> I am too fast, too furious. Too fast for all of you. Ah <laughs> oh, crap, I just realized I need to teach this I need to teach this one baby doll eyes so that it can become a Sylveon, because I want Sylveon. I like Sylveon. Now we're gonna head this way. <gasps> Zubat? That's Zubat? Perfect. Take this. I'll capture Zubat. Oh, yeah. Love the music. I wonder what it means. Hi, Wood. I need that for one of the Poké Dolls. I love the... <laughs> Like actual game sounds they make. Might have been nice if they like uh Ah, oh, that's why. Get less tumble stone though. Oh, Just so I can see what level it is. Is that a giant zoo bat? Level 31 would absolutely annihilate me. I don't even. I thought I saw a giant zoo bat. I need to be fucking careful. Fight, mate. That's just rude. Quick attack! And quick attack! Ah, crap. Am I gonna fall asleep? Fall asleep? Find it. You're a dark type, and I don't know. 
Let's try Blitz. You're just spamming hypnosis. Thundershock. Kill. Luxray time. Luxray time. Luxray time. Oh, double evolution. Blitz is ready to evolve. Let's go. I love how epic. Oh, you actually see the morphe. I love it. No, it wasn't Luxray. It's Luxio. My bad. And evolve, Starly. That's partly the reason that you're here, just to evolve. You haven't really done anything in a while. Love it. Not kill me. I want. I just wanted big. I just wanted big ones. I just wanted big boys. Don't kill me. Oh, Jesus Christ! What? What level are you? Level nine. Go, Evie. Quick attack! Another quick attack! Alright. Go, Pokeball! of the float soul up there just ready to kill me. Tackle attack. I could use an item because I am a bitch. Potion for the boy. Need to randomly catch Buzel until one of them magically is two, uh, two, uh, eight big. Yes. Uh, every single time I see a big one, I'm just like, dear God. Wait, is that a big one? I mean, by big, relative, not actual big, angry. We can get you without a fight. Sure. <coughs> Excuse me. Ah, such wonderful greatness. And we'll just give a little bit of a berry.
Oh, Berm, he left out at us. Tackle attack. Very rude. Quick attack. Critical hit. Doing over here. Get out of here. You don't get to move around. Only I get to move around. I'm the move man. Die. Oh, he was gonna use a move on me. Very rude. Aqua Jet. Let's see. Ah, and from the looks of it, we'll already get up there. You'll already be completed. I don't even need you. I just love this game. It's nice. I just need to wander around this place for new Pokemon, maybe. Who are you, Galaxy member? Only spot at night, and sometimes they'll just appear quietly with no warning. Pretty creepy, if you ask me. It's almost like they pop into existence. I also kind of love this because you can kind of look around and be like, I can probably go all the way there and there'll be Pokemon there ready to kill me. Ow. My bad. I flew too close to the sun. And I stubbed my toe. They were trying to attack me. Better not. <laughs> oh no, it's an angry one. What level are you? I just want to know your level. I don't want to actually fight you. Level, please. 32. Not all that bad, but still. Get back in there. I'll cheat you. I'll cheat you out. Get in the ball. I'll switch to this. Oh. My persistence got me an Abra. Yay. So happy. And probably the threat of the heavy ball. The heavy ball threat probably. Oh, I don't have room. Ah. Ooh, 
run from me. Fear me. I have an Abra now. Dear God, I hope I don't have to trade to get Alakazam. Surely they got rid of that stipulation. Release for this game. Uh, I'm so happy I just explore Abra. Abra, Abra. I got an Abra. I love it. And so far, I've lucked out to not be uh, knocked out. This is just a thing that can sell. Get out of here. Iron chunk. Yeah. Booyah. Your black tumble stone has been stolen. Now I want a Team Rocket game like this. Give me the Team Rocket game like this, where you like use your Pokemon to distract trainers and then you steal them from behind. Oh, I would love it. Fly high, get that item for me. All right, wood, go, Chesto Berry. Cures its drowsiness. <laughs> that might have been nice. But Iron Chunk. A naturally occurring hunk of iron. Such ore is needed to make the requisite parts of numerous Pokeball varieties. Such as the clasp that holds the ball shut. Huh. Guess I'll move you. Ah, uh, I love this game. Look out for any monster. What's attacking me? Oh, hello, Geo, dude. You wanna die? You die. Use all. Hacker Jet. Just love the feeling of exploration. Another pep up plant. Definitely want that. Need to be careful. This is a big fall. So I want to. <laughs> I just love the fact that you kind of just go flying when you fall from a certain height. It's over, Anakin. I have the high ground. Alright. Well, I guess I can. Very rude of you. But we can have a place for you. Kind I almost wish. I almost wish that you could just free free throw during combat a bit, but I guess they didn't want people to cheese out combat too much, so I understand it. <gasps> Very. <laughs> Don't mind me, weird deer. I'm just stealing your, well, cousins. 
The ease of catching Pokemon. You wanna fucking go, Mike? No, I think you're running away. Okay. Or are you? Uh, beat him up. Remember, you chose this. need to defeat them, too. Utter wonder. Hmm. I forget. What typing are you? Fight! Ah. Okay, there's a big, big monster around. We gotta find him. Catalog them. Alright, fine. What? You go for a point, mate. You're actually gonna attack me, mate. Coward! Attacking me, and then when I defend myself, running away. It's like a turf. I want to hear, I want to know what's making, I want to know, and it's scary. Hmm, spoiled Apricorn. Gyarados? You're flying, mate. How can a Gyarados fly in the flying generation 2? What the hell? Okay, but yeah, there's just a giant Stantler up here that's big and scary. Okay, and that looks like a big baddie too. I still can't get over the fact that I saw a flying Gyarados. Part fly, but still. The fact that I haven't seen, like, the fact that I can't give fly to my Gyarados is what makes me uh, angry. But yeah, so far, utterly amazing. I don't even know how... Oh, hey. I wonder what level you are, big Oh, well, you're a little scary. You leave the boil out. Thunder Fang. Or not Thunder Fang, Thunder Shock. Yeah, it works. We'll have to get around to catching some of you later. Ooh, can evolve. Woot woot. Maybe we should head back then, since we'll have you finally evolved. I love the evolution Diddly D for this. This game is probably the best evolution to see. I love it. Oh, we love it. Oh no, now there's just cricket tunes out here. I can get the mushroom now. Yoink. Ooh, wood. Yoink. This is at the field of Paris. 
that a dude? Man, now I want a Lucario. Don't ask me why my brain went there. It just did. What? Okay. Well, we have... Alright, fine. Let's annihilate some of you. Fire thing! We'll whittle them down one by one. Fire thing! I love the fact that some enemies can just decide to join in and both fight. Well, that's not nice at all. That didn't look like a powder. Strong. That way, if you live, I'll catch you. Ah, critical hit too. And paralyzed. Leave the boy alone. Probably a bad idea, but I kind of want to catch this parrot. Alright. Well, so now Robin. Now we get to experience how poison works in this game. Let's try and catch this parrot. I think that's the, what the firework is for. Call grass. Ah, crap. Saravia. Just kidding. Did it go away? All right, now I'm gonna have to... Turn around, little bastard. Wait, oi. Faster. Ah. Time to go away. Let's talk to your boss, not you. Oh, completely forgot about me, eh? Get your boss's level. This really is like Metal Gear Solid for Pokemon. Just want to get your level and may fall. Get your level. Level 30. Not terrible. 
Not great. We're not terrible, but I still want... Yes, 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 fine, fine, fine. I'll go around and grab your twitching rock. By going around them. For a moment, I was going to say, is that a goddamn Flareon? No. Let's play that music again. Oh. Well, I won't even have to go that way, because this is doing something. What are you? Oh. Well, now I'm disappointed. Kill. Well, that's not very nice. Oi, oi, oi. You are not running away. It would be funny if they could just run away in combat if you don't make a choice fast enough. Oh, another iron ore. What do you mean? Oh, yeah, I forgot I put that away. I put it away. I'll put it away, you know, I don't have room. Well, the real question is, what am I willing to sacrifice? Probably, I, mean, I could use the grit. I could just use it. Then again, I don't know the practical applications of it. Uh, let's see, Storavia, what happens if I use it on you? Effort level two, special attack. No, oh, let's take a look. Oh, it's not that it can only be used three times, period. It can only boost up to the level of three. Got you. Got you. Okay, what was that up there? There was a there was a thunder attack or something. Maybe I can beat up some of these. I right. you can get that. Let's see. Uh, uh, story of ya. But I guess hard style, quick attack. Let's just beat up some Pokemon. Actually, strong style, gust. Just don't miss. I find it funny that strong style quick attack doesn't seem to lose me anything, but at the same time it's probably not a oh you strong style so you lose you lose your position thing. It's like it's not one to one. I saw something. There's a waterfall. Can you grab that for me? More Pokemon noise. But it's mostly probably just Geodudes. I thought I saw Thunder. Hello, Girdo. You're probably a super high level. <laughs> Seeing the animation get jankier the farther away is is kind of funny. <laughs> yeah, this is just... This game also feels like I can just do this for 5 billion years. No, 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 oh. Fear. 
That was most definitely fear. I think I'm gonna head back to the base. Unless there's any missions out here. I need to show her Geodudes for Cherim. But I don't know where Cherim is. And we can try and show him Buzels. Oh, hey, let's talk to this guy first. Hello, person. Who are you? Have you ever come across a tree shaking and swaying? I suspect that's because Pokemon are up in the tree, feasting on all its berries. Any new Pokemon over here that I might want to catch before I fast travel home? Well, more like fast travel to camp, which then takes me home. Ah, nah, yo. Not bloody yo. You googly eyed motherfuckers. Strong style gust. Luckily, I didn't damage you. Style gust. Kill it. I do a dance on your grave, you stupid. Move mastered and <gasps> Rowlet Cannibal. Rowlet Cannibal. Hey, wood, 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 wood. <laughs> oh god! Another big boy. What level are you? What level are you? I just want to see your level. I just want to see your level. Level 30. Okay, not that bad. What? Oh, I thought that tree itself was a Pokemon. And I was going to freak out. I thought that tree itself, shaking in the distance, was a Pokemon and was about to go. Oh, God. I want to head home, Professor. I see you've caught 15 Pokemon. Care to report your efforts? Yes. <laughs> this was mostly just a journey. As you made us some new observations. Let's have a look at them. Most illuminating. I'll update the Pokedex of this new data. Oh yeah, we caught a new... We caught you. Huh, we actually beat you enough to get it. Lol. And for once, I didn't get to do that. So what would you like to do now? I'd like to return to the village, please. There's a person that wants to look at Geodudes. And then maybe I can get that guy to look at a bigger Buzel and he'd be like, Oh my god. Hmm, new request, but I want to turn in a request for Geodudes. There she is. There's her home. Thank you, Godphone. <laughs> Seriously, why is this like... For God's sakes, Pokemon Mystery Dungeon was the most isekai of all isekai, yet here we have a person being drugged into this world and immediately getting a Godphone. Hello. Alright. I have tons of Geodudes. Would you like this Geodude? Oh my, would you look at that? It really does look like a rock. And it seems to be the ideal way too. Oh, it's simply perfect. Thank you, young lady. With this Geodude's help, I'll surely make some scrumptious pickles. Dude! Geodude! Geodude! 
So I think the real thing about this is <laughs> we're just making people in Pokemon closer by helping people and being like, hey, Pokemon. They're like, yay, Pokemon. Oh, yeah. Let's talk to the diddly dang Buzel dude and be like, hey, check how big my Buzels are. He wants one that's two feet eight inches. I think he has issues. Well, let's see. Summary. Two, five. Two, four. Two, three. I swear, if you're big enough, I'll be angry. Nope, you're actually pretty small. Two, four. Two, four. Two, three. Nope. We off! Remember to always ninja dive in front of people's conversations. It's just the right thing to do. So far, this is amazing. I'm gonna have to stop soon because we've been going for fucking ever. But <laughs> this is amazing. I love this game. First things first. I want more space in my goddamn satchel. I will pay many a price. One more item. Sure. I'll pay many a price. I think that'll be it for now. It's a matter of life or death. That's why I'm charging 2,000 goddamn pokey dollars. There's some requests posted on the blackboard. Zubat eyes. Clarissa from the security corps has a request for us. Something to do with Zubat, I believe. Talk to the good lady and investigate as necessary. And while I'm here, let us see Robin evolve. Let us see! Evolve, my boy! Yay! My boy is evolved! Woot woot. So happy. Yeah, and it, it does indeed want me to catch more, so that means I'm going to be able to find more to catch. Yay. <laughs> Here, let's see if we can teach a fairy move to my beloved Eevee. I want new moves. What can you teach my beloved Eevee? Baby doll eyes. Yes. Yes. I'm getting a Sylveon. Anything new for my boy? Magic leaf still, so nothing new. What about my boy since he evolved? Still baby doll eyes. Anything for Buzel? Bulk up. Nope. Alrighty then. We'll go put things away. And then I think that'll actually be it because we've been going for... Probably, like, literally the longest that I've streamed in forever. That has to say something about how much I love this goddamn game. One of the best Pokemon games, if not the best. Hoo-yah. 
this is just utterly magnificent. Utterly, magnificently wonderful. Just purely, pure and simple, this is utterly wonderful. One of the best games I've played, and no joke. I just love it this much. For whatever reason, it just hits all these little points. And plus, it's a Pokemon game. That that probably definitely helps it. It's a Pokemon game, and just for whatever reason, it just really hits all these things. I'm like, yeah. That's fantastic. I love this. Ooh, but I love this game. This game, wonderful, magical, love it. There's so much you can do. I personally think the graphics look really good. Sure, certain things can be noticed, like the anti-aliasing on certain things, the draw distance, the animation draw distance is funny, with the Gyarados flying through the air at two frames per second, but I think that's more of a... That's more of a point and laugh, but it doesn't ruin anything. It doesn't affect anything. It makes sense. This is an open world Pokemon game. In which you can actually go walk up to the Pokemon and the Pokemon models look good. Of course it's the Pokemon fandom, so people are going to bitch and moan about anything and everything in this game. Like they did the tree. Uh, this trailer showed a tree I didn't like. And then lo and behold, they fixed the tree. Who'da thunk? And it wasn't even like one of those things where they were like, it's not even they announced to do a thing in a trailer and then people are like, no, that's terrible. And then the backlash changed it. That tree was going to fucking change. Stupids. But yeah, people are gonna probably complain about a nine million different things about this game because it's a Pokemon game. And Pokemon games just grab... They are the center of gravity for just stupid takes. But yeah, so far, utterly fantastic. L like, it, up there. This is an awesome game. I love the characters so far. I love the mystery of all this, because we come from a different world. It's not confirmed one way or another if it's like the human world or a Pokemon world. <laughs> or as Amadan, I'm a madman, said from the Diamond Clan that we probably come from the real world where the real Sinnoh is. And they can't, and they're trying, like, oh, Sinnoh is the god of time, is the god of space. I want the Platinum Clan. Where is the Platinum Clan game? I want the Platinum Clan! And not to mention, what the hell is going on with, like, the time space rift? Like, what's the secret? Again, my joke my joke theory that this is the world created by Cyrus and Team Galactic. But it's just like, it has to be something. Because why is there, like, Team Galactic... I don't, like, I don't know. I don't know. There's just so many little things. And it's been forever since I played Pokemon Platinum. So I can't even be like, oh, this means this. <laughs> but yes, this is fantastic. I love this. I love the battle mechanics. I love the fact that you can hold more than four moves, but you just have to swap them out. So per battle, you have four moves, but overall, you can have unlimited moves, basically. And the evolution animation is great. The music is great. The battles are fantastic. I think the graphics look good. I haven't noticed that much of frame rate dips only when I'm like in town and then I turn every now and then there'll be a frame rate dip. But when I'm actually out there dealing with Pokemon, haven't noticed anything unless you count the frame rate on the Gyarados. But that, like I said, that isn't even something that I want fixed. I think that's hilarious. That's just a funny little aha thing that you can point to, and it doesn't affect the gameplay, it doesn't affect the real experience, and honestly, I think the game is better for the low res like the low frame rate Gyarados animation than if the frame rate was perfect throughout the game. This is up there as one of my favorite Pokemon games. 
and maybe even one of my favorite games of all time, depending how the rest of the game goes. I put like six hours into this, in this one sitting. I probably have a headache. I love this game. I love it. I don't have a... Oh! La la la! Diddly dee! Thank you for watching outro! Because of life and things. And you know what? I'd, uh, I'll say that for next time. My brain is just like, uh, I love this. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. I've been the on Icy Wings. This has been Pokemon Legends Arceus. Freaking fantastic. Amazing game so far. Six hours in. Utterly amazing. The intrigue of the story, the intrigue of the world, the game mechanics is wonderful. Literally, if you put more... If you can find a way to put more classic Pokemon into this, or put this into classic Pokemon... I think... Brilliant. I doubt it. I doubt that they'll do that. Like, maybe tone down certain things with the open-worldness and the crafting system, but, like, implement some of these mechanics into the main series. I beg you. Shake it up. Like, seriously, this is the best mainline Pokemon game that I've ever played, huh? Oh, yeah, I just forgot. <laughs> As I was talking about the game, we, were, we just got summoned by God, by Arceus, a glowing ball of light who took our phone and godified it. This is the most isekai isekai to ever touch a Nintendo platform, and I am a big fan of the Pokemon Mystery Dungeon series. <laughs> but again, thank you very much for watching. I've been Neon Icy Wings. This has been Pokemon, Mis <laughs> Pokemon Mystery Dungeon. Pokemon Legends Arceus. If you want more from me, I have an edited content channel called Neon Icy Wings on YouTube. I post it like once in a blue moon because life is evil. If you want to catch up on archives of these streams or watch through previous playthroughs like Pokemon Crystal, Yellow, and Undertale, you can hit up Neon Icy Games on YouTube. If you want other... Oh, and if you're one of those people watching one of these stream archives on Neon Icy, uh, Neon Icy Games, you can watch me play these games live on Twitch.tv Neon Icy Wings. Usually around 5 to 6 p.m. Central Standard Time as a starting point. Might begin starting earlier just to play more of this game because... Love! And then... And then... And then... And then... If you want more from me in the terms like I'm trying to draw more... I'm trying to draw more because art is good and learning skills. You can want, see me have art on Twitter, Tumblr of Icy Wings Art Corner, Newgrounds, and DeviantArt. Aside from Tumblr, they're all just neon Icy Wings. But yes, thank you very much for watching. This game is amazing, and I hope to see you guys next time. Bye bye. No outro because I don't have an outro made for this. Because I didn't expect to get the game today. Which is still funny. And yeah. Bye bye. This game is fantastic. <laughs>